more quiet than it usually gets. I was like unexpected. So playing D and D tonight. Giving you the first one free, you son of a bitch. I appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate it. You got him started. Fucked <laughs> it all up. And uh, you have nice have for once for your return. And no. Oh, wait. So we are returning to our OG have campaign. We statted? Yeah, we're statted. Yes. Uh, it got statted. It fucking statted. All right, we're going back to our OG campaign, the Dawn Forge Company. Um, I know it's been a little bit, and I don't think it's ever been on stream, so I was going to have, uh, if you guys wanted to introduce your characters real quick, like, um, I'm just going to call it a name and introduce now your character. You tell us. Holy shit. I just thought of it, because so uh, prepared for this. It, I just thought of it, and I do apologize. It's off the top of the head. All right, so uh, actually, we'll start with uh, TJ. Introduce your character. We'll start with TJ. All right. Um, cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mine would have been so much easier, Fine. Jesus. Character. Uh, no, all right. So my character's <laughs> name is uh, Vicer Guile. Uh, he's a uh, sorcerer. You know, he's young-ish. I don't know how exactly how young. Probably early 20s. I don't know. Uh, he's, he basically uh, was in a village. A uh, village was attacked by wolves. He burned them all down. And they were like, oh, shit, you should do something with that. town got together, sent him to school where... You're breaking uh, out. You're breaking up quite badly. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, where should Last I start? Last thing from? was wolves. Last yeah. thing was wolves. All right, Go so uh, he's hanging out at home. Wolves attack the village. <laughs> he runs out, throws a fireball. People are like, "Hot damn! You can do magic. You should go to magic school." Uh, but there's, <laughs> I so he goes to the Dawn Forge lady uh, for training. Uh, that's how he sort of uh, joins up with uh, all of the other characters. Um, his town that he grew up in uh, is uh, like half dwarves. It's it's a, a logging town out in, in the boonies, and that's why he speaks with a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And uh, yeah, uh, as far as his motivation goes, he wants to be the most famous sorcerer in the world. He's constantly like franchising out the Don Forge Company. <laughs> And um, has recently bought them all gear with the Don Forge logo on it. That and they black can and turn, white and black uh, and white and black and white. From <laughs> black to white, depending on the situation. And uh, yeah, he likes really nice clothes. And uh, Perfect. I don't know, he's like, you'll get to know him. He's all right. All right. And then uh, Mike, you're gonna, next. Um, <clears throat> so I play Uza, a uh, Arakrokra rogue. Um Started his life as a Kenku, uh, affected by the curse uh, that stripped the uh, Arakrokra of their wings and, I guess, honor. Um, after being freed from the curse, uh, unknowingly by the Dawn Forge Company, unknow I didn't realize that they freed Uza. Yeah. Um, timeline. <laughs> um, How did they work? Went out and tried to um, bring trade and socialization back to the Arakrokra and went out to Verner, uh, where he uh, got his name Uza for his true name is I'm not going to screech it into the microphone but Skrael which a lot of people aren't really fond of screeching like a bird so they tend to take the an orc name of uh, took the orc name of excuse me Uza uh, due to it being a half orc city um, kind of just happenstance got together with the Dawn Forge company and just kind of along for the ride at this point, just really excited to be here, just kind of having fun, stealing things, some things <laughs> that party stop him, what they see, you know, just the huge sticky fingered things. <laughs> and oh yeah, he's eight. He's the mind of a child. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, now, Jess. All right, I'm Jess. Uh, my character is Zephyr Neofsit. And she is a ling, um, druid, and she's 24, has silver eyes, red hair. Um, she just recently regained the use of her bat-like dark wings with feathers on the outer edges. And then her history, she was raised in the hell plane by her father until an an Alephus Killed her father and took and kept her as basically a pet. Taught her how to fight in vicious uh, battles. Um, just as a kind of final snub to her father. And she stayed there uh, until she was a 
for late teens until a druid named Chiron. Um, I'm sorry. Hang on here. <laughs> you can tell someone actually wrote their stuff down. <laughs> uh, until an elven woman named Ronat uh, rescued her with a mercenary group when they were trying to kill Menelephus and failed. But she took her to the Druid tribe. They became her family. By being ostracized as an unnatural abomination, taught her the ways of while acknowledging her demonic heritage as a natural part of who she was, um, just as her elven heritage is a part of who she was. And she left the tribe to go hunting one day and came back to find a complete bloodbath. And she figured out that Menelephus had killed them all, all of the sulfur. Um, so she vowed to vengeance. And then she fell into the hands of Ilaria, who brought her, you know, more experience, and that's it. Hey, somebody remembered the master's name. <laughs> Perfect. And then, uh, finally, um, Brandon. Enjoy that lore dub? You ain't getting that shit here. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> White Dragonborn. Actually, it should be silver. Silver. Isn't it? Yep. Fucking this stupid page. Oh, that's right, I couldn't fucking change it. Uh, Silver Dragonborn, Barbarian, hit shit. Basically, we'll get Lord Dumps as he fucking remembers shit at the DM's discretion. Done. Go. <laughs> you actually... should tell him what you found so far, at least, so that they have some context, because we're a big thing just happened for him. So uh, I think yeah, I'm sure we were going to go over it one more time, because I'm sure everybody else forgot to. Yep, I'll, I'll, I'll run the, uh, the uh, <laughs> what happened. So, um, all blood scale. Uh, so this is more No, about... no, I meant it was going to be done in character. God damn it. Oh, I was just going to say that you all you remember is your... No, yeah, never mind. We'll do it in character. Go ahead. Do, do whatever. Right. No, no. I like I like what you're... I, I didn't catch what you were, you, were, you were bringing to the table. I got it now. I love it. So we're going to do it that way. All right. So um, let's get some mood music in here and uh, get started. So whew, last time with the Dawnforge Company, you guys were making your way from the city of Verndor to the city of Kern, the Dwarven City, where you were going to find the goblin thief who was uh, uh, another student of the masters having found one of the uh, the gems that go into the Morpheus blade uh, you needing three in order to cut through the dimensions to face down the true opponent Phobator, the god of nightmares who seems to be having cults and influence seemingly spreading everywhere you go um this on this way you found and came across some giants who are not that common in this area as far to your knowledge and uh, you found that they had been terrorizing a local city after cutting them down rather swiftly you met the hunting party left from the city that had left from the city to track down these um, giants having tricked them by telling the mayor that uh, he was only mayor and he needed to become king um, and then so Upon meeting up with them, you found out that Ents were also attacking their city. Knowing the origin of Ents being mostly good creatures, you went to find the Ents, finding them in combat with the Hired Hands, the Gilded Cleaver, who had been hired to help protect the city. Upon uh, talking to the tree Ents, you were given three days to find this mysterious source of corruption that the Ents had felt and had decided would no longer uh, be acceptable inside of their forest. Now, uh, upon looking around the forest, you found that this was one of the oldest and most sentient forests any of you had have ever experienced. Um, you talked to some giant boars who helped lead you in, lead you in the right direction. You treated uh, finding some giant mushrooms uh, for them and uh, found yourself at the forward camp. Oh, no, they led you to the shifters who had also been making attacks on the city, although much more covertly than the Ents. Had more of uh, stealth missions in, but had never apparently pulled off what they were trying to do. Uh, apparently the shifters also being in sync with the forest were feeling this source of corruption and uh, had told you that it was moving around and they weren't sure exactly how to nail it down after um, a little fun in the town trying to figure out something you realized that the forward camp was going to be the way to go so you were led there by the shifters it's a little out of order but you'll get the point uh so and upon reaching the uh the forward camp, you noticed uh, the, a lot of the villagers that you had already met were sitting on one side of the camp, and the Gilded Cleaver were on the other side. 
They went to go meet the leader of the Gilded Cleaver. And upon opening the door to the Gilded Cleaver, a memory flashed inside of the mind of Bloodscale. The only memory he really had. The man betraying him, his company, his people, everything before the memories lost. Davzaran sitting at a table with a map in front of him. And due to a uh, pact with a, <laughs> a dark dragon figure, uh, he grew to twice his size, charged the table, and went after Davzaran. The others, knowing blood scale and trusting him, backed him up as they fought uh, two assassins that re revealed themselves on the edges of the room and attacked into them. Now, with this, uh, the fight came into a, a peak where Davzaran eventually bamfed out. Due to an insane perception check, the help of a dark elder dragon and a natural 20, Bloodscale knew exactly where he was and charged out of the tent full speed and his speed being what it was in his gigantic size let him easily catch up with Davzaren who was still uh, taking a second to orient himself after his spell had gone off. Bloodscale attacked and was cleaving and just while well, everybody else was throwing control spells so that way Davzaren couldn't make it away. A wall of fire prevented Davzaren from escaping and suddenly Zephyr threw herself on top of Davzaren in front of Bloodscale wanting him, desperately trying to get him to think about what this could mean for his past and his future, and all of the mystery of that, his knowledge that is lost. But something inside of Bloodscale made him attack again, attacking through Zephyr. And eventually he reached a, reached his hand into the giant hand into the ground and pulled Davzarian away from Zephyr and crushed him in his, his clawed grasp. Davzarian disappeared into um, more of like liquid into smoke and eventually dissipated completely. Upon that, Bloodscale lost consciousness, falling to the ground. Um, you guys took a little time to recover and made your way back towards the, uh, the tent and to figure out what was going on here. Upon going through uh, some of Davzaren's possessions, you came across the bag that had many magic runes on the outside of it. And through very carefully opening it without touching it, you revealed inside a death's seedling. This is a tree growing out of the withered corpse of a child who sits um, on their knees with a tree growing out of their throat as their face is looking upwards. And the branches, unlike natural plant branches, are growing as long withered fingers and a giant callus... Um, calloused and um, chitinous tongue grows in the very middle of it. Many of you were trying to do things with it, but every time you look at it, it affects your mind. Even looking at it, you see the colors of the world start to fade into black and white. And even those who don't have suffered the worst effects, uh, upon looking upon it, you looking away, you have black tears coming out of your eyes. And that's where we stopped. Sucks. Except for. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and Bloodskill came back to consciousness and was currently raging at this. And not being affected somehow. <laughs> yes, and Bloodscale seems to be strangely immune. What would you guys like to do? I'm rushing that what thing. What the fuck axe. is that thing? I mean. Have we tried to light it on fire yet? Yep. Yeah. Magic got eaten. Um, I believe I, I flew out of the tent it. to get everyone to back away from the tent. Yes, you had freaked out and flew out of the tent. I tried healing it, and that didn't do a thing. Nope. Uh, again, the magic was eaten. I'm going to ask the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and uh, move your character token. Make a wisdom saving throw, and then an attack. How strong is that child's body? <laughs> Ooh. And upon uh, looking upon it, all of a sudden, you see the eyes of the child open. Oh, fuck. They are also black. And uh, there's a whisper in the back of your mind. Lost. And if you'd still like to attack, roll your attack. 
Are the two whispers competing? Because <laughs> I have a dragon whisper in the back of my head. This is too. this is not the dragon whisper. You know that. I was hoping they were fighting. The dragon yeah. is strangely silent. Ah, fuck it. That'll hit. <coughs> Sixteen slashing damage, and um, <coughs> as you attack into it, the you you as you're coming through it, it there's a force somewhere around it. You feel the magic, and you feel infinite rage eating that magic as you get closer and closer and then you're testing it out and then just one giant swipe and uh, as you see the rest of you see a chunk as he sticks into the shoulder of the the uh the child the arm falls off and this black ichor starts to leak from the uh, wound. lord um was I mean, was zephyr getting the ends um i don't remember that zephyr would you i don't i don't think so Oh. That's a good idea, though. Uh, yeah. Um, this so... is clearly beyond our handling here. I don't yeah, think we should chop attacks. it up. I don't think we attacks. should chop it up anymore, honestly. Oh, Look wait. What's coming out of it? Maybe I should try talking to it. It is a tree. And um, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. And then you are you going to use a spell or you um, of speak with plants? Yeah, I'm going to use speak with plants. Perfect. Make your wisdom saving throw when you look at it. Oh, son of a bitch. And you have really good wisdom, too. Like, uh, And so with that, um, you see that open eye and a tear come down, a, a black tear. And you all see her eyes go black. And you hear the laughter of Menelephus. What I, would you like to say? Uh, well, there's that. Um... <laughs> I'm going to say, whatever's brought you here, you don't belong. Tell us how we can get rid of you. And then you here. Lost. Lost. Closer to home, but still lost. Where can we take you to get you home? You get the idea that this combination of plants and human is not having, it, it has not a, a full sentience to it. It can only express itself in emotions. And this was, uh, and using, even sp using Speak of the Plants, you get the emotion and you get the idea that there's something there, but it is not a full sentience. I back away, I'm visibly shaken. Like, it, I it, hit it again! It says it's lost, it's, it's, it's close to home but not home it's lost i'm gonna try to find the ends do i hit it again P please don't hit it again i don't think that helped last time and like look it's 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 leaking all right i get stuff. away from it well it's it's right. corrupted right so it's probably corrupting more around it yeah i step away and i sprint out to try and find the ends kind of trying to call out um perfect can i fly up and do a perception check to see if i see any of the trees moving sure Go and make a uh, perception check with advantage because of your goggles. Uh, Robert, you see him. He, he All of a sudden, his eyes also go black, and you see um, tears out his eyes, and he just starts backing up. And then you see him collapse in the corner, openly weeping before he pushes himself outside of the, the tent and runs away. Uza, damn, dude. Running and the spectrum eight. already. <laughs> All right, so um, you, um, to the northeast, you see a bunch of rustling trees. You see a line of them, actually. It seems three in a row marching. Um, I'm going to point him out as I'm still flying. I'm going to call out to Zephyr. Zephyr, the ants, the ants are over there. They're coming. They're right over there. And I try to so guide her over there as best I can. Fly over and go with him. Perfect. And uh, um, can I get, uh, let's do um, athletics checks for both of you to see how fast you can make it there. Okay. I'm probably not strong enough to lift her and carry her, am I? She doesn't need you. <laughs> okay. At all. At all. Like natural. So okay. Zephyr, the the situation, the memories, everything, instead of dulling your senses, you suddenly feel like you have been brought more into your body than you have been in a long time. And you feel the strength in your wings. And you feel the growth and the healing. And you feel this positive that you haven't felt in a long time. 
and you charge off and uh you leave Uza in the dust, and he is just uh, you just, Uza. You're just I also, forgot she could fly. <laughs> you, like she leaves you in the dust for the first time ever. You know her as a yeah. slow flyer, but she is gone like a bullet. Right. Damn. As uh, do you guys in the tent want to do anything before the ants get there? Oh, um, I've been tall. Already, I can't hit it. We already did an Arcana check on this thing, right? And it was mm -hmm. like you know, deeply shit. magical. Yeah. Maybe a deep perception uh, check to see. Uh, would you like to try something else? I mean, I, I'm I'm down for refreshes if you want to try it again. Um, I'm gonna do it. Uh, did I do a history check before? Yes. Did that wield anything? Um, actually, no. I don't think you did. Come to think of it, go ahead and roll a history check for me. Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then. Yeah, no. I'm making Arcana check for me so I can go over that again with you. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, this magic does, does feel slightly familiar to you, and you feel it echo back to the uh, child, the, the dragon who you guys saved and found out it was a child. It has that same feel to it. All right, so and then like tra transmutation magic like i don't understand what you're getting at there um so do you remember what kind of ma like it has that same like no. dark source of magic which you knew um at the time sorry i should I, i'm, I'm it's been a while bro. yeah no um <laughs> so you you know that Last this year. particular magic is associated with the shadow fell the dark reflection of reality uh, so it's corruption it's bullshit Corruption bullshit. Ah, uh, fucking. Not and um, just as a refresher, you guys know that the um, the dragon child said that they kept him in a cell and were keeping uh, doing rituals on him to try to make him. And he felt like his blood was being corrupted, and that's why. Um, that's what they Do were doing with him. Do you think this is what they were trying to make that boy into? I'm gonna go like, over and I'm just gonna hold my axe near it because you said it felt like it was siphoning out magic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. I didn't even have to make saves last time. I was immune. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no, this is uh this is not affecting you. It affects it. It's uh your presence affects it when you get in close proximity of it. And so I want to know how much of you is going into it. So that's why last time it opened its eyes but nothing happened to you. Cool. Just so I, I wanted to be clear about that, yeah, because you you are you are absolutely correct. You were making yeah, so um and uh, as you get close to it, you, you bring your axe close to it and you feel the axe instead of you're expecting it to pull from the axe because you can feel your axe. You are now like one with this weapon. Uh, instead, you feel and you see the eye of the axe open once more and you see the iris that is now like a pale black start to once again refill with magic. This is weird. The two of I you. Keep doing this. this is weird. <laughs> Why is it weird? What's it doing? Look at it! Look at that eyeball! I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, and then, uh, Zephyr, you arrive first what to the, the uh... <laughs> I'm here <what>? twice. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was putting your new token down. New tokens. Right. Sorry. Hold uh, on. Can't click on the new token. Doesn't matter. Sorry. So It's okay. Um, I'll set up your new token. I'm so sorry. I've... <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, alright, so, um... Zephyr, as you fly up, you see um, leading the um, the Ents, you see Yulok, the oldest Ent that you've ever encountered, and the one that you spoke with last time. So I land down. Yulok, Yulok, we found the corruption. We it's... feel it. What can we do? It, it's a plant with a child at its base. Black. It says it's lost. Child. Lost. We will see this thing you describe. Point us, though we feel its pull. I'm uh, going to le lead them to it, and I'm going to see. Hold on one second. Um, question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't we cut the tent completely open? Uh, the back of it is completely okay. open, yeah. Uh, it was actually charged through and ripped open. Well, no, no, I think we cut it open when we were freaking out about the um, the death seedling at the end. You talked about it, but you decided not to because of the when you guys were looking at it, it had effects on you. So you okay. decided not to. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. I was gonna see if there's anything I could use to speed them up. <laughs> right. and, uh, are, are you injured at all? No. Okay. Um, and as you see, um, as Yulok walks, you see he gestures with his hands and two trees that were previously just trees. All of a sudden they start to... And they start to move along as well. I shout over to Uza. And he's like, they're coming! Tell them that the ants are coming! Am, am I still approaching at this point? Uh, you have just barely got there. <sighs> Fuck, you're fast now. Um, oh. Whew. Happy to be away from that thing. Okay, um, uh, uh, I guess I'll go tell, uh, the people that the ants are coming? Yes, tell them how far out we are. Alright, I'm gonna double dash my ass all the way back to the camp and, um, perfect. Tell the people in the camp that the ants are coming to leave them alone and give an update to the people in the tent. Perfect. So, um, and you guys in the tent, you see this uh, super fast. Uh, Elsa and Uza lands at the back of the tent where the big hole is. <sighs> There's trees coming. Walking trees. trees Zephyr's doing her thing. I gotta go tell the other people. Don't don't hurt the trees. And I pull my I pull my axe away from the weird dead boy. You tree. see the eye close. Hey, well, that's new. Shut What's up. You know anything about this? Hello, other grumbly head in my voice in my head. Hello. Strange silence. Ah, fuck. That's not good. <laughs> Just when you think the voice in your head is going to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He made me Hulk out a second ago, so fuck it. What about that was Mesmo? crazy. By the way, what the fuck was that? that? I don't know. You don't know. You just, um, you turned into a giant with, with the big old fuck off bangs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know when it's going to happen again? Can you just do that now? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't Stupid know. Way. You have no idea. Look, we'll let the trees look at this fucking thing. And if uh, they yeah. can't figure it out, I'm sticking my axe near it again and see what happens. All right. Yeah, well, you're right. Mysteries for later. Mysteries for later. <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. Uh, actually, you're, you're coming off pretty well. Um, I'm not going to lie. You're, you're doing okay so far. You see, uh, so as far as Mesnos, uh, he's kind of in the... He's actually standing over here and looking at the map. Um, real quick, Mesnos, what do you make yes, of this? Um, you're, you're kind of got a bit of a background, we'll say. I have never seen this before. I know it is not demonic. I know it is not devilish. Um, well, yeah, they, I'm getting like a, the same kind of magic as the the boy dragon guy yeah, from earlier. Yeah, yeah. You know? Something, yeah. What does that mean to you? As uh, a... Let me take a look. And he's gonna do a a Kana check. Boop. Yes, I feel that as well. Um, if you would, your axe. I can't remember Mesnos' voice. <coughs> no, that's it. That is it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Right. Uh, can I see your axe? Um, Blood scale. <laughs> a little less flat, but yeah, oh. definitely. Can I see your axe blood scale? Uh, can I just come over? Yes. I mean, I'm already right here. Oh, yeah. Tell me what on. you want me to do. Uh, the axe is definitely magical. <laughs> you failed his arcana check with the natural one. <laughs> I know my axe is. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. He has advantage of that because of the gem he stole. Well, didn't he do the 20 first? No, no, he did. Oh. oh, that was on the, the tree. Oh, my bad. I forgot, he, he, the fucking bobble he stole gives him advantage on Arcana checks, which I never thought would be useful, but you guys finally used my nose. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. All right. Um, so he kind of looks at your axe. He's like, oh, this axe is possessed. Cool. But not possessed. Are you I, I thought we knew this. Well, but the thing is, it is the soul of a dark dragon. So you yeah, know, I, I thought we. Uh, did you not, did you not remember the contract, contract that I just made with the dragon that you had to go over? Well, no, no, what? but I, it, it, <sighs> I wasn't for certain on this. But the thing about it is, it eats magic, and using it will also corrupt you further. Well, mm. we, we kind of figured that. 
I would say though that it has a similar energy to this tree. The axe does. The axe yes. has similar energy to this thing right yes. here. Did you, That's did really you... bad, blood scale. That's really bad. Did you did you forget the weird mirror that you shot lightning into, and then it shot you back in the face? Yeah, I wasn't a big fan. <laughs> yeah, that's part of this thing. I think it is oh, more what the bones the fuck? of it. Do you remember that? Do you remember that stupid fucking? Do you remember Shanna's stupid fucking corpse that we found before I made a deal with him in the first place? Yeah, only vaguely. Yeah. Remember I ripped <laughs> off a scale? That's on this. I've got one of his teeth in the back here. I wish you would have let me know. I would have added it to the. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you worried that it's gonna turn you evil or something? <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of served its purpose now. I know, I mean, but I as, somebody, back now. Uh, as somebody who is around you a lot, I find it quite um ah Lord of Mercy. You could turn into a giant evil dragon at some point. What would I don't think like you understand? Design? I don't think you understand what I just said. I said this thing has now served its purpose. Axe somebody and needed an axe in the face. I can kind oh. of switch back to a normal axe now. All right. Well, that's good. I agree with this decision. Although we should get me one, because this thing was fucking expensive. Well, I, 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 I have some gold left. I will donate some, but like, uh, you know, you've got some very nice armor. And at this point, you guys hear Mezno sob. <laughs> oh, Lord, no. have mercy. Batman, stop looking at the thing. And you see what the same black tears coming from him, and he's like, "I tried uh, my hardest, but I couldn't stop it." <laughs> What little man? <laughs> hey, uh, my sir, could you get rid of those tears like you did on everybody else, real quick? Uh, yeah, but I mean, he's still crying, so it's not really gonna help. What's going on? Let's know. The same shit everybody else had, apparently. He just said some weird shit. Yeah, I know. I just want to know what he saw. He said he couldn't save him. This is clearly some sort of flashback or something. Ask him after he's done sobbing. Get him away from the Look, tree. I'm trying to. I haul the rat away from the tree. <laughs> All right. So as you you hold you you pick up the rat relatively easily. It's not the most he's, emotionally intelligent. I'm sorry. He's he's basically boneless at this point, and and um, you, you set him down in, in like the chair, and you see the uh, he stopped crying now, and you see him kind of shake it off a little bit, and as he's not looking at it anymore, I, and he's like, I pressed to digitate uh, his face so he's clean. All right. That, the all right tears don't are look gone. at the. Oh, fuck. Not, I can't. Would not look at that if you paid me. Look at the corner. Destroy Ow. it. Uh, yeah, well, we oh, don't know. Well, if we we're talking like to the ants. Yeah, the ants are gonna take and check it out. Why? Why do you want to get rid of it? First case, I'm see? gonna suck all the magic out of this thing. Like, apparently, <laughs> I can do that. It is. Ow. What is it? Wrong. It yeah, I knew that. Is here. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it is here to make you remember all the worst. Well, it's I just true, did that. Right? Well, the worst. What? Everything in your life, which is bad. You know, I'm, I'm actually... To do Honestly, I should probably look at it more. Well, I'm, I, I don't think he was done talking yet. <laughs> oh, he was. Oh, uh, I I mean, I should be fine. My life's not that bad. I've never really done anything that evil, you know? It's I mean, not your This life. thing makes you remember shit. Shouldn't I just it's look at it more? Regrets I mean... That it brings. I don't even know my regrets! This would be great! What are you talking about? Well, look Wouldn't at it, it for a minute and see what happens then. Every time I look at it, nothing fucking happens. Make another wisdom saving throw. After you try, I assume you're you're trying to look at it, right? God damn it! <laughs> and this time, when you look at it, nothing at all changes, except for Fuck! the nothing! eye on your axe opens again, and this time the iris is silver. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> We're just too bubbly. And at this point... <laughs> You're talking to the Mr. barbarian! Mike. Oh, no, shit! <laughs> the sorcerer walk into a bar, an evil tree sprouts. <laughs> they have no idea what to do. All right, and at that point, um, you lock and the other ants arrive. Jeez, oh, Lord big. of Mercy, I forgot how big they are. Yeah, I did, I too, actually. And so you see... I, I help tear apart more of the tents so they can actually get in there. And you lock, he kind of holds a hand as the rest stand back and he walks in. And uh, he walks straight up to the tree. Don't, don't cry pitch. I do. Uh, None of you careful. know what he's saying except for um, Zephyr. 
I do not know what they say. Is there a warning before I try? Is there a warning before I try? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's weird and sh uh, dark, shadowy magic shit. You can't speak his language. <laughs> no, I'm yelling at you. Oh, okay. Uh, right there. Well, I looked. Because you said what I you said. I looked at you, moment. Locke, and I said, uh, when I looked in it, I saw my greatest enemy. Or I heard my greatest enemy laugh. It shows you. Very well. Darkness. Damn, dude. He's got a good. Oh, that's it. Okay, perfect. Um, and then, so with that, he kind of reaches out, uh, and you see him touch the tree itself and you see as he touches the tree um this dark black ichor that has been coming out of the eyes and out of its wounded arm suddenly as a sentient latch on to its fingers and crawl up his hand as he pulls his hand away and looks at it very slowly yes it is against all nature it is unnatural Daffer, tell him not to kill it. I have an idea. We're if it trying... comes down, if it comes down to it, let me try something. We're trying not to kill it. We want to get rid of it, of course. But uh, my friend wants to attempt something. Go Very ahead. Very well. And yeah, and uh... only only if he's done doing whatever he's doing. If the next option is kill it. Then I want to do something. If not, he can try whatever he wants. So if you, you see... have any ideas that are better, please try. I will try one thing. And uh, he and uh, you see, um, as his the the bark on his hand uh, that is like it's, it used to be this this like kind of um, like bright white bark of like kind of like a yew tree, which he would have his his name after, has been withered in black at now. And then you see. Um, his fingers, just the, the, the very tips, kind of like like that much, are, are the blackened part. And he, uh, he reaches out again, and he kind of like turns his hand, and you see this, and this like bright green energy. And three, gl three globules of that energy come off of his hand and into the tree. And you see the wound that is spewing the black ichor on his left arm close. You see the eyes clear from blackness. And you see a blue eye. Oh, that's new. We're seeing a blue eye here. Uh, maybe I'll try to talk to it again. Uh, how can we get you home? Where's mother? Who are you? Oh, you're... Is your mother... Oh, What's your oh. mother's name? You can't hear this. <laughs> I think TJ just got it, and it is so mean. <laughs> What's your mother's name? Mother? Who are you? Fucking kids. Are you a dragon? Are you a dragon? No, but I think I res we rescued your uh, brother. We you have a brother? Are you guys bronze dragons? What? I don't... Are you a... Who are you? It's one of them. It's okay. We're here to help. We're here to help. Calm down. And then all of a sudden it goes back to, and you see his, the eyes gloss over to black. Lost. I look over at the rock. I'm like, what do we do? How do I help you get this? Like, what energy can I give to you to help this kid? I can do that only a few times. I know if not I... what can reverse this. Death may be better for all. Does anybody have a uh, lesser restoration or greater restoration? Um, uh, I've got a healing potion. <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty sure this kid is one of the one of the dragon kids. Oh, Jenna, is that why you're being quiet? Oh, how fuck. did how did we fix how did we fix this? How did How we did... fix this? I don't know. We got the other guy before the, 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 any of this shit could happen. I have okay, no idea. So I can try. try I can try. I can try. You know, siphoning off dark magic, and then he can try that again. But Vicer, how are we yeah. gonna pull the bloody tree from the inside what if, of him? Vicer, what if he speaks um, your dragon language thing? Well, we gotta what? pull him out first. Uh, so, 
Hey, Trey! And this is in fucking... Hey, Trey! The fuck? <laughs> He's very scared. You get the idea that a tree growing from the throat of something restricts it from making anything but telepathic um, responses. I... Uh, make a wisdom saving throw as you tried to talk to it. I was just yelling at it. I, I didn't even look at it. Okay, if you didn't look, never mind then. Okay, so... Um, last time we we persuaded them away from the dark, we... Okay. I have a question. You... Yes. Good. I'm, I'm in selling character. Oh, sorry, I have a question. Ahead. Good question. Yeah. We have a ring. That lets you talk to people's brains. I've got, uh, I've got a ring that lets you talk to people's brains, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let's talk do Talk to that. its brain, but in dragon. Somebody's uh, browsing their notes. I can't... I can't speak dragon, Actually, no, but... I pulled that out of my ass. Dude, nice. Yes, you can. You can. I, you heard you... me earlier. You, TJ, you do oh, speak really draconic. Quick. I speak draconic. I, I didn't write you speak it down. Draconic is dragon. Yeah, you speak I draconic and dwarf. dwarf. I have dwarven and orcish on No, me. you have draconic as well. I don't know. I, it, oh. it, so you're talking good. to your uh, orcish, pet dragon. Orcish you got from the orc yeah. dream class. Okay. okay. So, Perfect. Why don't oh, you try you doing that thing to pull the dark magic away from it and we'll have to do it at the same time. Yeah, I, I like that. that. Let him Hold talk. On. Hold on. No, what do you want me to ask him? What do you want me to say? Hello, um, dragon? What? Wait, wait. What do you he want me to say? He's, he's one of those kids, like the fucking other one we rescued. He's oh, just, he's what not was. All shadowy, horrible anyone... dragon. He's shadowy tree boy. What was his What was his mother's name? I don't remember. Um. Uh, um should be in your wind scar desert. Shadoth would just fucking tell me. Windscard. Cowardly dick. Where the hell is that? Okay. Lady Pixrian. Ari. Pixrian um, Kyle. Ari, uh. Do you know. Or I, I, using the ring, I, I think towards the sheep. Uh, is your mother a Pixrian Guile? And you hear only. I don't. Lost. Close to home, but lost. Okay. He's uh, close to home, but lost. Lost. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Is there a chance that this isn't like his physical body? Like maybe that this is like uh, solvable? We could fix this. Oh, I, I'm... Uh, okay. <laughs> I think what happened was weird. Tree boy uh, made his mind work for a second, and now mind don't work no more. Okay, so if you try to take away the corruption with the axe, and Ulock tries to help at the same time, maybe I can get through to this kid and persuade me and um. I Sarah can persuade him to turn back like the Question other... What if my axe tries to eat his magic too? Well honestly we have to try something while we have to kill him. Alright, full flaky position. Perfect. Uh go ahead and guys put your characters around the uh, the the black tree as, as where you'd like Not to the be. the rest of you. I'm just talking flaky with the tree. No, I know. I was I'm just making sure I know where everybody's at. Yeah. Standing uh... on the table. Perfect. No, no, Una Watale is going to come up. She's going to be like, um, do you say restoration? Yeah, g give that a try. Um, if you have it. Okay, um, hold on. And then I tell you, Locke, I'm like, all right, I'm going to have you try that again with my other companions, and we'll see if we can pull this corruption from him. Very well. This is the last chance today we will have. You see Why? him kind of like, you see him nod. It is a powerful I, magic. All right, and I say it loud. He says this is a very powerful magic, and this is the last chance we have today to try and do this. But we still have three days, right? Is that right? Three days? You have, um, so he doesn't understand what, what's going on. Sorry. I was going to answer for you, Locke, but he doesn't understand. We, we still have three days, right? And you had this three thing is... days to find the corruption. It is found. Let's just try this shit. Come on. Okay, so Everybody together. Um, let me know what I can do. I don't really know. Uh, uh, go team. Ah. When Look at him with me. When his eyes clear, try talking to him. Um. Okay. You're the better persuader. I'm bad with words. <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do talking to the oh, not dead child tree. Let's do this. So, and, um, I guess I'm just gonna hold up. Um, oh God, what's it? Oh. 
This is the most grim thing it's we've ever done. Much. Yeah, this is probably the darkest that this campaign has definitely gotten. <laughs> uh, Alden's uh, necklace. I, I, I can't do much, but I'm just going to... The the carved necklace. Or, or oh, the one with the symbol of Verndor in it? Verndor, yeah. Perfect, okay. Not much, but it's something. Perfect. All right, and then... Um, so you see, uh, as uh, Unawakali reaches out, you see this um, small splash of water come off the, the uh, tips of her fingers and land on the tree. And you see the eyes clear for a second. And as the blackness threatens to overcome the eyes once more, uh, you see Yulok creak down and the, the same three green orbs escape his hand. And, and then you see the eyes go clear and those blue eyes are back once more. Stay with me. Stay Wait, with hello. me. Huh? Hello. Are you the child of Pixry and uh, Lady Lady Pixry? And um, uh, you know, mother. That's your mother. Yeah. All right. Oh goodness. Hey, what happened? How, where have you been? I don't. Where am I? Where, where no, was... You just said they. Stay with me. You just said they. Who is they? They. The the men in the masks. The men in the masks. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, what do you know about them? Anything you can say as quickly as possible. Uh, We're trying to help you. Oh, they, they had the skull masks and, 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 and purple and everything was... Okay, great. The Cult of Fulbator. That's great. With uh, Knowing that helps us out a lot. Roll a persuasion Where have you check. been? Okay. That's perception. That's perception. Yeah. Persuasion. Wow. Oh, dude, you, do, you rolled the, nearly the same roll, but like with your bonus. It's pretty awesome. All right. Um, and then uh, you, from in, inside your head, you, you with the, the ring, you hear, um, the, the, the place without color? I don't, I don't know. You get the idea without with, um, since you rolled your perception check anyway, uh, you get the idea that this is much younger than the other um, child you came across. So, do I hear this? Um, no, the ring of telepathy. Um, I think I'm... It, it. Well, let me check the I ring was... of telepathy and see if it goes directly to him or if he can share it. Well, and how was she communicating with it before? She was using communication with plants. Yeah. Because he's a plant. Uh, but he's using his... You know what? I'm going to say yes. Just because okay. he would be communicating as a plant would be, which would be on the psychic plane, which you would hear as well. Okay, so I say, okay, so you need to remain calm. You need to stay with us. It feeds off of your fear. We're going to help you and get you back to your mother. But you have to make the choice to stay here and calm. And that's what you have to remember. Everything is going to work out fine. There's nothing they can do that we can't undo or save you from. Say it with me. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Breathe deep. We will Breathe save deep. you. I can't feel my arm. It's okay. Don't worry. We're gonna work Don't on that. Worry. Okay. Everything is fine. I know a lot of magic. Uh, this is just some bad magic. We'll figure it out. And at this Things point, have... the eyes start to gloss over black again, and you see Bloodscale uh, pull his his axe closer. But this time, instead of just in a general vicinity, he pulls it closer to the head of the child. And you see, uh, when he pull, holds the axe to the back of the head, the uh, the you notice the blackness came from the back and was going forward, and you see it pulled back and held at bay with the axe. Okay, I tell Blessia, I'm like, that's working, that's working. Okay, um, I can do this all day! Let's, uh, Unawadale, if you have anything else, let's use uh, it. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, let me see, hold on. Um, let me check her, um... I'm going I to... I don't know if this will help, but uh, I have one thing I can do. I can make sure he doesn't die. That would be good. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. What, that'd be awesome. What, what do you mean, die? Uh, what are you going to do? She cast a death ward on him. All right, hey, uh, you can't die now. You've, you've, the more powerful magic has been set huh? on you. Where you are, you're going to be fine. Everything is even better than it was, okay? I'm going to try Already a solved one healing problem. Potion. Okay. How are you getting it into him? I'm getting close, and the tree's coming out of his mouth, right? That's correct. 
Is there any space to get it past? There is none. <clears throat> it is tight, as if pushing his, his lips away from it. Okay, I have a coin of mass healing. How do you, hold on, hold on. Um, I pick up his arm and put it, like, where it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to grab a I just coin hold it there. of mass healing. Where are you? I thought the tree ant actually healed that. Uh, no, he's just, um, he, he's doing a different spell. Uh, where's the coin of mass healing? It's not in the thing, but I'm going to use your magical, it. Your, uh, the magical, it's not in the magical items? Nope. Okay, uh, how many did you have written down? Because Oh, never mind. I got it. Okay, but it just masking. has yeah. a picture. Yeah, it a... just has a picture. Yeah. Oh, that's just the picture? Yeah. Okay, I'll <laughs> go ahead and cast it for you. I'm so sorry. Uh, you said mass healing? Yeah. Do, 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 do. I think no, I can use Inawakwe for this one moment. So Inawakwe have a spell that's better than this? Okay, what the fudge? Jesus that's Christ! Healing word. That's mass healing word. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's not strong, but it hits everybody. That's yeah. And so everybody, if you're missing any HP, um, you gain two. Fifty hit. Oh. <laughs> I got. Uh, hey, you know we got two Viceros on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go and get rid of the other one. <laughs> Yeah, I've been moving. Hey, that was not the right one to get rid of. <laughs> well, I thought you. Okay, sorry. The other one has your stats and everything. I'll put it back. That one's better looking though. <laughs> there I didn't go. ask. <laughs> sorry, Kyle. And then, nope, not okay. A bonus. Sorry. Go ahead. Um. Okay. So. Uh... I'm gonna try to do a guided kind of meditation thing with him. Okay. What would you like to, to say? kind of persuade him to stay with the light? Like, all right. So we're going to very slowly. You're going to calm your and you're going to release all your fear, your anger, and you're going to remember with surety. That your mother misses you and she wants you here and we can get you there you just have to focus on getting rid of and expelling that negative energy okay, make a persuasion check okay All right, and family is waiting for you <laughs> okay 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 Okay. There you go. And, uh, um, Bloodscale, make a constitution saving throw. Oh. At this point, you feel your hands starting to tingle as if they are fully asleep. And not the just casual tingle, that where it's already starting to get painful. I have an idea. Can't remember if I still have my breath weapon. You do. Because you technically were unconscious and had a decent ass rest. Sweet. I'm gonna freeze the axe into my hands. Okay. Ooh. Uh, go ahead and click your breath weapon for me. What, the full damaging one? Mm hmm. Sweet. Okay, but your resistance to cold, so you take four damage. Oh, make your constitution saving throw, see if you take even four. Yeah, you make that. Uh, so you take two damage, two cold damage. As the rest of you see blood scale, pretty much he just looks at his hands. He looks at the, the child and then you see him breathe on his hands and this ice starts to form over his hands and casing it, holding it to the axe. That's hardcore. This is really cold, even for me. Do we uh, see any different showing with the cold? Any stronger healing spells than that? Anything at all? Um, uh, Just trying to get his arm to stick back on. Oh, ask the tree. Does the tree have better healing, maybe? Uh, I ask him, I'm like, do you have any healing ability, or do your other ends have any healing ability? The camp's got to have a cleric, and I'm going to zoom yeah, out get the, the tent. Yeah, get the cleric. Looking Good for idea. a healer. <laughs> I don't even wait for a response. I'm gone. I'm out Perfect. of the, the tent. 
yelling for a healer or a cleric uh, in the camp. Perfect. Uh, make a perception check. Is this an advantage? Oh, yeah, always. Okay. You got your goggles on. Wanted to double check. Got your goggles. Right, as long as it's daylight outside. 27. <laughs> All right. Um, and so as you run out, as you're yelling, uh, you see... I've got a name all of a sudden. One second. On, Arthur. Get, give me my mouse back. <laughs> He's so cute, but so maddening. <laughs> as all puppies are. Um, you see uh, Phelan uh, instantly as, as she's kind of making her way towards it. And she's like, um, a what? A cleric, Phel- Phelan. Do you have a healer? A cleric? Anyone that can, I can I, I re- reattach a tree boy's arm? A, a tree? Uh, okay. Um, This way. And she kind of like um, starts directing you. Uh, would anybody like to be doing anything while this happens? I'm, I'm continually just talking very calmly with the child and. Did the tree I'm, have any magic? Uh, the tree's out of magic. All right, I'm close enough that um. Can he move at all, the tree boy? Does it look like he can? Um, make a, make a perception check. You, you get the idea that he's pretty stuck there, and uh, it's really disturbing to kind of to look at him. But you notice this time when you're looking at him, you don't feel the same presence. Okay, so I'm like, all right, you're doing great, and I'm going to gently touch his hand. I'm like, do you feel that? Do you feel my hand? I don't... I don't know. Um, it's okay. Let's the go. one that's still attached, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> I was like, do you feel like, your hand, buddy? Um, Enoatale is going to try to use Remove Curse. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if it worked? It would be, wouldn't it? It's like, oh, there we go. Um, and as you're holding his hand and the Remove Curse um, hits, you feel just the slightest movement. But let's go. Make another Constitution saving throw. It's helping. And uh, the baby, you're frozen. You're muted. I have any advantage because I'm fucking frozen to this thing now. Actually, you have disadvantage because you're frozen to that thing. <laughs> that would make no sense because I'm trying to hold it up. Oh no, no, you're and not it gonna drop it. Keeps it from slipping out. You're not gonna drop it. That's not the <clears throat> issue. You take a uh, three psychic damage. Oh, this is that's fine. I'm sure yeah. about that. <laughs> Do I notice that this is leeching energy off of blood scale? Um, the only thing you guys noticed was that the eye is fully open and its bright purple iris is now starting to turn almost a, a pink and um, the it seems to be shaking just slightly and the, the eye started to move around, now looking around. Okay, this is all helping. I'm feeling it's getting... Buddy, wait, hold on. That axe is like bloody cursed, right? Like, hey! it's really evil? Focus! Like... I get in the I game! Am. Shut up! Get in the game! I'm just saying, like, something bad's gonna happen with that axe if it gets this much fucking energy. Near the kid! It'll be fine! We're gonna save the kid, that's all that matters. Addy, I just I just want everyone to be ready for it, is all. Um, it's a good thing to be on our radar. I'm going to cast... Why do I have that in my spell thing, but not my does, spell? Does oh, my yeah, rose... I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. Go ahead and cast it. Ty, does, right. my, does the rose do anything for this? Does it Love. move? You've had a, a steady heartbeat that is, um, once you started talking to him, the heartbeat starts to go faster and faster. And this okay. time... There we go. And uh, so this time, the magic is no, not eaten. And you see uh, his wounds uh, start to close a little bit. And you, again, feel that touch. Arms stick back on. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. You, okay. You're holding his arm in place? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, go ahead and cast it again. All right. Casting again. Uh, level four again. I am draining my heal spells. Oh, <laughs> good oh, God. A bunch of ones. All right. So, um, the arm is starting to reattach. Ah, it's working. Okay. Any, uh, any traction and... on that cleric? I'm going to cast it again at level two. <laughs> Clark, is that uh, is, um, one? Cast, cast, Go to cast. 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 Perfect. Okay. For another. Okay, perfect. And then uh, seeing this, uh, Unawatale is also going to cast it. 
So third level spells left. So you can cast like, it twice. Right. You're doing great. Stay calm. And with that, the arm is fully reattached with you guys oh, casting all of that healing into it. Okay. I can, um, I can feel it. It's back. Oh, good. All right, see, see, things are going great. Things are going fine. You're going to be all right. We're going to work We're on this. We're working. Just keep talking with us, okay? Keep talking mm. calmly. Blood scale, another constitution saving throw. Uh, can, can I pull out the rose? Sure. And see, like, if I push it closer to him? You take uh, two points of psychic damage. Uh, you said the rose? Or no, you have disadvantage. I'm sorry. You take five points of psychic damage. Uh, you pull the rose. Which rose? The The heart or the rose? Um, I thought they were connected. No, you have you have a small enchanted rose that you broke off of um, the armor of the rose knight, and then you have a the heart that has the rose growing around it. I'm gonna uh, bring out the heart with the the rose around. Perfect. Actually, I'll bring out both. Fuck it. What am I doing? I'm gonna pull out both of them. Okay. And what would you like to do with them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Remembering fuck. he has two hands. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, see how they react when I, I bring them closer to the, the kid. Okay. And uh, as you bring the, the heart closer, it, it you start to feel like it's a, now a violent pumping in your hand. It's almost moving your hand, like your hand's shaking just ever so slightly. It is pumping so hard. Uh, in a the, bad way? Like it's scared? Yes. Um, and then the rose, as you get it closer to the, the tree, the petals, even though it's metal, the top of the, the rose petals start to blacken. All right, we're oh, still. All right, this is this is whatever whatever this magic is. It appears the rose knight person thing um, was highly vulnerable to it. It might have been what destroyed him. And then, um, but this is in either case, these aren't helping at all. Right. Well, at, at that point, um, Uza is back. He, you you've found a cleric named Hamlin. Uh, he is a a halfling, the only halfling that you've ever actually seen. Um. He's got uh, kind of this twiddly little mustache that comes out straight. It's white hair Wasn't and just one little puff. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Right. Um, never mind. So just another halfling that you've met. Uh, yeah, he has like this puff of hair right in the middle of his head and then a, a, like a mustache that comes out. Is it Hamlin? Hamlin. Hamlin. Um, he's a halfling? I he's pick his ass up and I fly him into the tent. Okay, you guys, uh, as you guys are, are finishing what you, with the, the rose, you see just the, the tent doors fly open as um, oh, Christ. Uza flies in holding this. What the hell is going on? Heal him! Heal the, the tree boy! What the he's, hell are you talking he's, about? He's, he's, he's a dragon uh, and, he's, and he's dark. And and then, so, and was, let him down! Let him down! You got to, try, you got to let him down. Sorry! Cast and any and all healing or purifying magic that you have. Restoration, pure curse anything i think you can look at it now you can look at him but cast everything in your repertoire i am casting like crazy we know and that i cast another cure wounds this is a child who is um a victim of the cult of bobator they've done something terrible what? to him what are you need you about? To do... listen there's not much time okay i just uh, need you to cast all anything purifying or healing you can on this child this is a live child he's in quite the state as you can see now if you could please just help us out, I promise I will explain. Okay, um, I have no experience with this. Uh, what do you know is working? Restoration, oh. remove curse, uh, lesser restoration, cure wounds, uh, anything purifying. Okay, I I'll do what I can. And uh, you see him, uh, he, his hands uh, start to glow with a, a light as he, he touches a, a symbol on his chest. Um, uh, you guys notice, uh, you notice the symbol is a, um, a figure with wings. Um, and as he kind of goes over and he's, he's like, um, okay. And you see, uh, his hands glow really brightly as, and then he, um, he touches, uh, the tree. Wow. All right. Uh, and then you see, um, again, nice. now the reattached arm starts to move. You see the, the hands are starting to gain some motion back. What is the tree doing? Is the tree weakened at all by any of this? What's it look like? The the tree. What do you mean? Which tree? The tree that's growing out of the kid's mouth. Uh, the tree. Um, it looks exactly the same, but you notice if you uh, make a perception check, everybody. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was a lot of everybody Jesus. but my sir. You guys fucking nailed it on this one. Okay, I'm so. <laughs> uh 
So, Viceras, you're you're putting back your 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 rose uh, items. Uh, the rest of you have started to notice that the bottom where the the child is kneeling is starting to take a more natural color than the um, the the wooden kind of darkness that it had around it. Uh, and then, uh, so you you see that it is it is gradually healing. Um, you also um, see the the black bag on the floor. The runes have stopped glowing. Um, when the and so the the eyes once they're clear the bag doesn't glow anymore um okay. Z- zephyr uh, you get the idea that uh, because with your experience with magic that this is these runes are meant to hold corruption uh blood scale because of your um your magic blood uh you feel that the you feel just like the the runes are containing magic you're not sure for what but containing because you had to write I real fucking good. <laughs> what I'm seeing. I'm explaining what I'm seeing. The, all right, this is supposed to hold in corruption. That means we're starting to work this backwards. But you're doing good, kid. Right? I looked at Uza. I'm like, Uza, he cannot be the only cleric in here. That's what I was saying. Hamlin, find Hamlin who's, who, who are the other clerics? Who are the oh, other healers? The clerics are just the forward camp. There's more in town, but you know, they're not the Bam, you. I will fight this town. I'm gone. I'm already gone. <laughs> and I look over to you, Locke. I'm like, do any of your other ants have healing powers? How far trick. is the nearest town? Also, technically, the shifters are still away because I did shoot an Eldritch Blast. But it's true. Blast, so and, uh, uh, um, how how make... far is the nearest cleric, please? Just so I need to know directions. Hold on, real quick. How far? We're going we're gonna to pull this back. Um, Uza, I need you to make a perception check. Perfect. Okay. Um, as you're leaving, at the um, coming out of the forest, you see Arin Jolar, uh, the sh- the leader of the Shifters, walking out. Or not Arlen. Arlen was not the leader. I am so sorry. <laughs> it was the lion-headed dude. Be back. <laughs> yeah, the, the lion-headed dude. Where the hell is he? Oh, did she? she did she say be back? Yeah, just did. Okay, you're fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see uh, the leader of the Shifters coming out. Um, I'm not going to land. I'm going to fly next to him and just shout out healers to the tent. Now we need healers. Any clerics you have anyone with any kind of cleansing magic, any kind of healing to the tent. Now I'm going to the town to find more and, f- and then fly off again. As you're flying, you hear, you heard him move. And he, he gestures with his arm and everybody starts. You can't see them uh, just full bore running I, towards the tent. Can I amplify that with prestidigitation? Isn't that one of the things make something really loud uh you can amplify someone's voice yeah. um yeah, yeah. i'm gonna amplify ooze's voice you're nowhere okay. near him you gotta be kind of well I actually he was, like, right outside um he's about 60 feet away what's the range on press the digitation only 10 feet 10 feet okay yeah so we'll right, take, he would just, be i'll just uh, repeat it perfect and so you um the rest of you hear almost as like the, the all of a sudden vice air's voice is booming what do you want to say all healers to the tent. We have an emergency. There's a child involved. Bring all holy symbols. Anyone who can remove curse. This is for magical healers. Anyone who can make it, please come to the tent immediately. Uh, which uh, tent is this? Uh, roll a general perception check. Perception. Or, or, sorry, not perception. Persuasion. Ah, Christ. Hey, you're fine. There you go. Beautiful. A stampede of clerics. Fight right. one another. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um moments later uh, as you you see um the uh, all the shifters are there and uh each of them have started surrounding the um started surrounding the the tree uh, so you have found the source of what ails this land shulgan says because i remember him now we found a child in need of help. Uh, we'll deal with whatever else later. This needs to be first priority. Very well. And then uh, he kind of like gestures, like two quick like snap gestures, and you see they all start to form. Uh, they all start to surround the the tree and all start to reach out, and then they heal for. While this is Jesus. going on, I'm. Ooh. Right. So, nice. Uh, all While together. this is going on, I'm just uh, keeping the kid calm, going, "It's okay. They're all here to help." And all of a sudden, um, uh, uh, Una Watale, she's like, oh, wait a minute. And then all of a sudden you see uh, the top of her head begin to glow. Um, <laughs> no. And she casts Beacon of Hope. 
Um, so that way, then, then you see uh, with the, the heel that came in from the, the group, uh, it goes all the way halfway up the, the child, and you see the very tips of the, the fingers start to wither inward. Ah, uh, that's bad, right? Wait, what? The tips of the tree. Because it's it's like basically made oh, out of fingers. Oh, the tree's like the dark tree back is into starting. It. Okay, yeah. I thought the kid's hands were fucking falling off. I was like, well, that's not. Good. <laughs> Sorry, I should have been more opposite. Not. Opposite. Opposite. <laughs> All right, cool, so cool. I'm hey. gonna cast cure wounds. Perfect. And since he gains maximum number, it's going. Oh yeah, that maxes out the healing. Noise. Yep. Uh, so five. So. 8 plus 5, that's 13. Perfect. And then um, another uh, constitution saving throw for you, Bloodscale. And I'm holding on to this kid. I'm keeping his focus yeah. and keeping him calm. Perfect. Um, and so the rest of you, you see um, Bloodscale's eye, the one that has the broken goggle over it, it starts to flare up a little bit. You see just like this magical energy starting to pour out of it. Do you need someone else to hold that for a minute? No! Hey! I have an idea! Elf! Elf! Fucking what? Elf. What? Yeah, what? Don't you have weird paladin shit now? Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, and the Riffin's gonna pour Fuck. all of his uh, lay on hands for <laughs> 35 <laughs> points into... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> lay some hands on this fool. Alright, and then so another 35 health points is it. The, um, the healing with that 35 comes up to about mid-chest. And you see the uh a lot more of the the fingers start to curl inward at the top of the tree and the the tongue you see like a little piece of its it's almost chitinous armor kind of like breaking off and falling off uh does it look like we could get a potion in this kid not yet yeah How okay first I'm... about in his belly button hmm. there's another <laughs> you mean his old mouth How far is yes <laughs> Uh, town, it's... We took, like, a roundabout way getting... Ooh, can I teleport it into him? No, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible idea. <laughs> the glass that's the exact sound that we too. <laughs> so... You teleport the glass I inside. I don't know. And Another 13. Perfect. And then, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, the 13, it comes up to his shoulders. Um, the town is about, as the, the crow fries, it'll take you about three minutes. Okay. All right, I got... If you just slow down, I could have teleported you so quickly. Perfect. How far is the town, though? Seriously? Uh, it's about 120. No, it'd be 150. No, actually, shit, it'll be about... Because he has double dash 60, which takes him through 10. It would no, take, no, 100. 100. So it's, it's about... So double dash in, at three minutes is 100 per turn, which is 30 turns. So it's about 3,000 feet away. So it's a little math, under math, a mile. Math, 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 math. Yeah. See, I have four dimension doors I can do at 500 feet apiece. You could got him uh, two-thirds of the way there, and then he'd have to carry you back. That's fine. Can anybody try to do ready? I can fly, too. Oh, they're not doing damage to Trey. <laughs> Ain't doing damage. I tried damage. Damage, no. Okay, damage, so bad. I'm, uh, damage. Cut his hand off. I'm a I dumped the 26 okay. in there. How's it huh. going? Like I said, it's up to his like shoulders now, and the, the tree at the top is losing armor plates. With the twenty six, I did. Is the is the is the halfling done doing his shit? Can he do any more? What? Halfling is is he's still he's cast he's been casting this whole time. That's why it's been coming up as far as it is. Eating I right have now. no more heals left to give. That last thirteen and twenty six were the last of my healing points. All right, somebody run outside. Tell him I'll give him. They can split a hundred gold for everybody who has heals to get their ass in here. Couch to use saving throw. I tap my throat. One hundred gold pieces for the first person to come here and heal this boy. Two. Nope, nope. They have to. All of them need to come here. They can split a hundy. Okay. And then um, with that, or to be decided later. With that up, uh, you see uh, two people running through the. Uh, have uh, <laughs> made, finally made it into the tent. All right, it's heal him, you greedy cunts. <laughs> One what about of them is, you, Luck? One of them is Wendell, would you recognize oh, the... Um, Wendell's like, pretzels. Well, uh, actually, I was already on my way. I would not have been waiting outside. Waiting Shut up, dude! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm healing. so sorry. And he goes... Trace of mercy! There's another 13 healing. Um, Trace is a character no, I made sorry, up. 13, he doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the healing now is coming to the neck. And now you see there's... Um, the tree is withered enough that there's starting to be a gap on one side as the tree starts to tilt to the left. 
I immediately dump. dump. Oh, I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't have to do anything. No. Wait, how many? How many potions do you have? I think I just have one. Okay, I have go! so many. Okay. Just go for it. Just go for it. You dump them in. One superior healing potion. Roll it. Am I, am I in town yet? No, uh, it's maximum because no, it's, it's beacon of hope. Beacon of hope. Yep, it's maximized. Yeah. So what? D. Uh, what is yeah, four, I suppose it's four. So what if Windows? Eight D four plus eight. Oh, eight. So, so 32 windows, plus 40. Right? Yes, yeah, I was maximizing so, windows. Wetzels. All I did was I saw four and I was like, what the fuck? Eight no, that was you taking two seconds damage. Oh, that's the dude who's what? Plus eight? Hmm? Eight. Eight it was 40 eight. healing. Yeah, 40. Okay. How's that looking? Now I'm gonna can I treat? pull the tree out of his mouth? <laughs> you can try. I am going to gently try and pull the tree out of its mouth. Make a s athletic, or no, make an athletics medicine? check. Oh, damn. Oh, why not medicine? Best. <laughs> Plus, you got an 18. Go for it good. Go <laughs> good. And then with that, gently, but but anchored in on the ground, you start, it comes up a good half a foot. Jesus. We dump another potion and try again. Yeah, I dump another potion in him. Hold on. 40. Does anyone have a constitution saving spell? throw for um, blood scam? Nice. Two. Um, before they get to that, you said I'm in Two. town, right? Mm -hmm. Have I found any clerics or healers? You've landed in town and um, you've been greeted by the the old man who you met before. Like, ah, I'm not right. even like landing right. in town. I am hovering over and just doing full Perception as, well check. as I can. <laughs> Healers! <laughs> is this tree considered a creature? Um, oh, it's considered a plant because it's a plant. It's considered a plant, yeah. Um, Actually, you the know what? I'm gonna use kid is considered it. The um, what would you want to try? I was gonna try banishing the tree. <laughs> you know what? I Ooh. think if it's still connected to the boy, it might banish the boy. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, there is I a disconnect now that. with her pulling it out. So. Roll this, make the spell, and then roll a your charisma modifier. So make a charisma saving throw um, while casting the spell. Damn it, if this is what I okay, think so. I with my first critical lucky roll. <laughs> and uh, charisma, you said? Charisma saving throw. Damn. So close. Um, but you are able to banish part of it. You notice, uh, like, uh, the outside, the, the uh, like, a good, like, half of the top of it just suddenly is banished away. You. Right. So I keep gently trying to pull it. Roll. Okay, so, so you know. Uza. So now 20. Uza, you instantly... Oh, yeah, so I know where the fucking uh, clear, the uh, the religious man in this place <laughs> lives. Dude. I fucking so sorry, nearly sir. stole from him, but then I... Oh, shit, I should return that spoon. And then you <laughs> fly down. <laughs> you fly down and you, and you break into... And you, you, you burst into the house and you see this uh, couple sitting and eating and they're like... Healer, now, child, in hell, in danger, help now, and come, 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 come. He just come. drops his, his, uh, he just drops his utensil, take me, and he, horse, he runs out. Horse, horse, can I carry it? Take him? me. Is he small enough to carry Make him? a strength check. Take me. Our <laughs> athletics, you can use that athletics or straight strength, whichever you um, prefer. Um, I mean, it's I shit know. either way. Um, <laughs> you fucking. Um, but, no, I'm going to use luck again. Okay. Uh, that's okay. that's not, <laughs> not quite. So you you go to pick him up, and you're really enthusiastic. You go to pick him up, and he's like, and as, as he goes up a little bit, he's like, uh, "I'll get a horse." And he like runs a horse. and he and he runs off to grab his horse. And uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, okay, and then uh, what was everybody else going to try? I'm gonna slowly keep pulling it up. Perfect. Another uh, athletic strength. Maybe the ant can help you. Oh, nice. Please. And I don't have to re-roll because I'm not unlucky anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then a uh, constitution saving throw from uh, uh, Blood Scale. Eight. And then, uh, so with this, it comes out, uh, it comes all the way out and you, you pull the tree and you you, uh, you see the, the tree itself now being separated. Uh the roots of it start to like reach out towards you as you hold it in your hands as the child collapses as an unconscious. I toss it away and I, I, I like, grab gather it and banish it immediately. Perfect. And then <laughs> I um, catch it. I catch it from her throwing it. I'm not even letting this shit hit the ground. I'm gonna 
uh, perfect and it I, immediately and i'm wearing gloves so yeah you are i know that that's a thing <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, there's like, as you were like oh ah! and you yeah, kind of like throw it away but uh Viser grabs it and he you, Viser, you just see him shake his head and he gives it one of these but like his finger starts to sparkle and then pff, the tree's gone uh, and you I, hear I don't... it says a faint it says a faint <laughs> popping sound <laughs> Goku using instant trip. <laughs> hey, look, I, 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 gotta, I gotta go with what's actually Somebody happening. Somebody check the damn kid! And the, the kid That's is what unconscious. I thought, I thought, uh, I thought uh, uh, Zephyr was doing it. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm holding the kid. I have him in perfect. my lap. And, I'm uh, just like good mother henning like a mother. Make a medicine check. <laughs> It's mother heading like a motherfucker. Perfect. Yeah, that is great. Uh, and so you, 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 um, you, you feel that he is super malnourished. He is suffering from mass exhaustion, but he is alive, and there is nothing stopping him from recovering from this. Oh, we Physically. got him. We got him. He he needs food, nourishment, as much as we could. Hold get him, on. But I, I run outside is okay. and set up my fucking tent. <laughs> you gotta right. be conscious first, so, my sir. I've seen. Oh, never mind. I don't. I'm not. So, there. uh, Bloodscale Kale turns around, and goes, "Fuck yeah!" and then smashes the fucking um ice against his table shard. Perfect. To try make to a, it off. Make a strength check. Yeah, oh yeah, easy. And as you smash the the ice, you you release the uh, the axe, and as it hits the ground, the eye is still looking around wildly, almost glowing with a, a purple pink energy that is Ooh. kind of like siphoning off. That's you feel your okay. eye starting to burn. Your your the eye that's outside Ugh. the goggle starts to burn as you you kind of close your eye against uh, uh, whatever is going on. Somebody mace me? What the fuck? <laughs> kind of, yeah. The corruption spreading to you? Huh? Guys, maybe we should uh, cast a little restoration on him. Oh, I got an idea. I'm a, uh, I think. I think I have an idea. I just slide the axe into the bag of holding. Okay. And uh, you slide it into the, the, the bag of holding, and it is in the bag of holding. All right. Well, that's good. <laughs> we don't got to worry about that thing. So I'm going to lift the Looking kid and us. take him <laughs> to uh, Vice Earth else can handle this i'm watch over perfect guys i have another idea what what what's going on i'm full, I'm full of ideas it's awesome if i sir you help me feed i i don't uh, hold on i have a butler he'll he's better at that than i am that's fine i'll be in the tent so if you guys need me i'll be in there with the kid okay i go i personally go outside the front of the tent and i just shoot elders blast in the air See if I can't like burn I think, magic off. I think you're oh okay, yeah, uh, and as you try, you're you're out of Eldritch blasts for the day, I believe, because uh, you used quite a oh no, you had the long rest. No. So, uh, yeah. as, uh, is, I think you have two at this point. Oh, yep, two yep. left. Yep. Two go <laughs> off as you as you throw your your middle fingers into the air, and as you go, try for the third one, um, the your fingernail as you you throw the the middle finger, uh, it, the, you feel it, it gather up there, and then it the uh, energy instead of releasing pops back into you for doing yeah, one psychic weird. damage as you go like, Woo! <laughs> ah, shit. like that kind of thing. Right, I think I'm done with those. My <laughs> eye still hurts. Doesn't it? Fuck. Oh, it hurts a lot. It is, it is right. real rough. So sorry, we have a ring of telekinesis. Um, do we have a, an, it's a um... there's a helm of telepathy. I think that I put in there. Or it was that uh, what I did was I actually meant uh, the ring of uh, telepathy, but I accidentally added the ring of telekinesis. Cool. Um, what's the range on the ring of telepathy? Uh, ring of telepathy. Uh, it's the same as the helm of telepathy. Look it up real quick. I believe it's sixty feet. But let me take a look. Uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna be. I was gonna to let. I was gonna the, let the Uzo know that we got him. Sen- <laughs> well, I was gonna try the stone. The stone of sending. Stone of sending to get a hold. Uh, blood, blood, bro, bird blow. Bird bro. Bird bro. Bird bro. Bird bro. Bird bro. Christ, I know we're rusty, but I thought we'd get that part right. Bird bro. Bird bro. Bird bro. Bird bro. I'm also three beers in. This is not fair. Bird bro. 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 <laughs> again. He did it on what? purpose that time. <laughs> uh, the tree is out of the kid's face. Over. Can we hear each other? Yes, you can hear him. Do Do we still need a cleric? 
Is he it okay? Probably... Uh, sorry, I didn't let you say over. My bad, over. <laughs> is, 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 is the kid okay? <laughs> over the trees? Cause that's Kid's cool. unconscious and really high. I did it again, I don't care. <laughs> Kid's unconscious and really probably hungry. Uh, probably still a good idea. I have candy. Over. Over. Awesome! Uh, I don't think he should eat Over. that. Over! Nobody knows about that candy. That's Bring true. the clerics! Over! Alright, and then um, at that point... Uh, I'm tired! Over! My eye fucking burns! Over! Alright, and then... Uh, I understand! I'm still over the trees! You can respond to this message. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, so the the tent uh, is up as the the um, the, the plush tent uh, that is Viserys is, is up. You see the uh, the Viserys. You throw it in. You you walk up. You see the, the usual scape of uh, finery, and then the butler. Uh, hello, sir. What can we do for you today? I right, make well. up a bunch of food for this kid over here, including I don't know something like a really rich soup or some gravy or something, because I'm oh, feeling he's probably gonna drink a lot of it to start. Very when he well, wakes sir. up, when he wakes up, he's uh. Oh, uh, we need a bed. We need a uh, bed, like tired. a nice, comfy bed for 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 the a little bed for the kid and a regular bed for for Zephyr. Uh, what size? Oh, I'm just bed? gonna be holding on to him. Just a big bed. Big I'm... bed it is. I will uh, make a king size in the new room. And you see, he snaps his fingers, and uh, you just see the store appear in a wall that wasn't there before. Co sleeping is dangerous. That's only with infants, you dingus. <laughs> you fucking dingus. Besides, if you guys notice, she's actually touching someone else willingly. Yeah. Extensively. Oh, That's right. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she heads off into the bed, and she, like, grabs a blanket and kind of wraps it around him and basically swaddles him like a fruit bat and a little baby burrito. Um, make a and, perception uh, check. It's a dragon burrito. Perception check. Mm -hmm. bats and Perfect. <laughs> you you get the idea that he is somewhere between five and seven. Oh shit. Uh, he is the he is super young. Um, you you swaddle him in this this big silk, but uh, it's like a silk comforter. It's got the the fluffing in between, and it's a down comforter, so it's it's super squishy and super nice. But the silk holds back the stabby of the feathers, and you you kind of wrap them up really nicely. Um, you and I have of... embraced in my Dude, legs. Like, my legs are on either side of him, and I'm just holding on to him so that he can comfortably, and so that I'll wake up if I doze off and he wakes up before me. Perfect. Because I'm tired and I wasted every single fucking spell. You didn't waste it. <laughs> I kept looking for spells I could do, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'll be for shit. I have no nice idea. Well, oh, I vaguely remembered. It's like, oh shit, I can actually cast at higher levels. Let's just start blowing through well, all of it. <laughs> for the record, I had no idea how you guys were going to do it, but you guys pulled your resources together and you guys kicked this ass and you guys saved. Uh, Kick saved that ass! Thing. Hey, we should have seen a feeling. We should have seen a Faf get it done. <laughs> oh yeah, Faf. <laughs> He's, he can do something, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I had a feeling that it had something to do with healing, and I'm... Yeah, yeah. no, you guys you guys figured out the solution. I was real, I'm was i super proud of you guys. Like, that was super awesome. Yeah. Uh, so you guys see uh, Zephyr kind of uh, go into this room. The butler kind of uh, is, is... You see another butler break off from the uh, original butler. It looks exactly the same, though, as he goes to the the, um, the door of the room. He's like, uh, and uh, do you acquire anything, Madam Zephyr? Um, bring Riftwin in here. Riftwind, of course, and then, uh, uh, and then he, as he turns, he turns to go, and then he turns back. I'm afraid there's no one under Riftwind in the tent. Um, I'll get them, Don't worry. <laughs> okay, thank you, Vicer. Perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, you go grab Riftwind, and uh, he's like, uh, what? Hey, "Let's go, kid needs you. Come on." All right, That's all right, good. all right, fine. No, it's fine. And uh, you know, he, you drag him back into the tent, and you bring Riftwind to her. Uh, what? I follow. Oh, perfect. Riftwind, when. This kid wakes up, and once we get his health taken back, you're the only one I can think of who can track. Yeah. Um, send the older boy. Who'd we send them with? The paladins, no. but no. we're gonna need somebody to pick up their trail and pick up Lady Pixrians, and I think you're the best person for the job. As Do much as you think you could take. <laughs> uh, I can find somebody who can, but unfortunately. I've seen this before. All right. I You've seen this before. Have. 
Wait, Riftwind has seen this before? He has. It's actually part what of the his Surprise, cockbags! And I really wish this? he was here for it. <laughs> well, um... Back How do you I see was, uh, Back when I was desperate for some... Some money. I... Transported a package. Uh, it's nothing out of the ordinary for some of the things, you know. It's just... <laughs> it was nothing. But, uh, it was to be delivered in a... It was a small camp outside of my hometown. Uh... Outside of, let me pull up. I forgot his fucking name. I apologize, everybody. Uh, right outside of of Templewood, and the package was this, and I didn't. There was nothing I could do to stop them. There was nothing I could do at the time, and I figured that Templewood could handle it. But now that I know what it is, I have to go. I have to go to Templewood and find out what's going on. Okay. Safe journey. If you see anybody, him, I will take him to Verinder. What? And find someone there who can help him. I'll, I'll drop him off at Krenzel. Krenzel's great at this. He's he, he taught me everything. He, Krenzel's great. He can take care of him. That's fair, but we gotta. Don't we know where the mother is? Can't we get her involved in this somehow? I'm gonna track her in the desert. The desert is ever shape shifting, but I will find. There seem to be people of Verinder who knew who she was. Okay, right. so you can find her and tell her that your son is with with uh, Krenzel. Yes? Yes. Okay. I have an idea! I have an idea, boy! Since I woke up. You're yeah, full of those lately. Yeah! Place there! Yeah, that's my name. Stupid note bottle! I'm sorry, what? It's the note bottle! You put notes oh, in. Oh, it right! Poops. The note bottle! I pull out the note bottle. And, it has uh, no message in it. It has no message? It has a message in it. Oh, I pop it out. Check what the message is. Perfect. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's written in a, a familiar hand, um, but this one is... Uh, or no, not familiar to you. I'm so sorry. Uh, this one's written in a, a smaller hand, uh, and it reads, uh, If you come across any uh, arcanery, please uh, send it my way, uh, Fendrick. Any arcanery? What the fuck is arcanery? <laughs> Hey, wait. <laughs> Who? Read that again. All right, hold on. Let me get my voice back. <clears throat> uh, so please send me any arcanery you come across. Fendrick. Fendrick. Uh, okay, that's the halfling guy. Remember? Oh. We sent with the paladin and the other kid? I need to lay off the bard space. Uh, vaguely. <laughs> so somebody who's at least good at writing. I, I can, but this will take a while. Uh, I don't yeah. think we want it to take a while. It's okay, I got it. What do you need? Uh, ask, ask the stupid, lucky, tiny one if he has any way of teleporting people like he teleported me at Bird Bro. Okay, uh, can you teleport anyone the way you transported Bloodscale and Uza in the past? We've found someone. And then... The uh, okay. message goes, and then says, "No, that was the it. message sending." Yeah, and then, uh, chill. Hold on. <laughs> and then, um, as it, you... does it vibrate or anything when we get a message? Like, is there something buzz, buzz. Like, no one check it? <laughs> um, hey, Big Sam. You guys hey, added a a note um to to check it, but unfortunately, it doesn't actually have a a real sound other than the smallest pop. Like, a... does Can it we just glow? keep it out does for it a while? Anything? Yeah, yeah. What's that? Does it glow or anything? Is there any visual indicator? Uh, the paper appearing inside of it. All right, I, All right. I, I hang it around my neck so that everyone can see it. Have I uh, uh, made it back yet? Yes, yeah. And then at that point, uh, you come flying in uh, with the, uh, the the rider shortly behind you. As uh... Okay, so just so you know, this tent is like, it's weird. There's like, it's bigger, and then there's this ghost dude, and you think he's going to kill you, but he's not. So, But the, I think... They wouldn't set up this tent unless the kid was inside of it. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go in the tent. Um, Viser? Zephyr? Hello? Yeah? Hi, Blood Bro! I'm, Blood Hi. Bro! Where, where in this tent? Because I'm just in the, the foyer. Um, <laughs> where in this tent is the... Where's the kid? Hold on. There was a... I think I heard a pop. You did. 
Uh, I uh, check the note, I guess. The note says, of course, where are you? Our coordinates are. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? Um, so you know that you're in the... Uh... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Arborian. That's the logging town. Arbor... Arbor even. <laughs> yep, you're in the Ro Rothanola Timberland, uh, close to Arbor even. All right, I tell him that. Perfect, then he... Uh, uh, and then a second later... <laughs> uh, all of a sudden... Uh, oh, let's see, what noise does Teleport make? Because he actually can do that. It goes... Uh, uh, and oh, he appears. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Who's it leaves the tent? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you hear it Phelan I'm uncomfortable <laughs> you, you, you hear a zzz, and then all of a sudden you see before you a halfling man who's like, um, so you have found something of the arcane nature for me well we found another dragon boy ah oh, another one you say uh, is this I mean one... that's technically of arcane nature isn't it I suppose you have me on that technicality, sir. Yes. Um, uh, he's also the little brother of the other one. Oh, good. He won't stop talking about his little brother, so that is quite good news. Uh, wh where is he? Uh, he's, in my tent. he's in my magic tent over there. Oh, perfect. Uh, and he just like walks through the tent. Uh, and, uh, Hold on! What? what? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not sure he's capable of travel right yet. Oh, it yeah, is. he's... It is no stress to He's kind of completely fucked. Oh, it is, it like, is only completely a... Completely fucked. Oh. Well, it is it's usually only oh, a stress he... to those casting the spell. I believe it should have no effect well, on him. Well, we don't want him waking up and not knowing who the hell you are. Yeah, ah. that's... I was just going to have him hang out until the kid woke up. Ah. That's all I was trying to do. Oh, very, very well. I can suppose I can hang out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Besides, this butler here can get you a fuck ton of food. Drink. Oh. Uh, and you see he... He, like, nods to the butler. Uh, the, do you happen to know my usual? Oh, no, everyone's usual. And then uh, with that, what? you see this, uh, uh, this, this mug of clear liquid with an olive uh, up here. Ah, excellent. And he starts to, to drink it. <laughs> oh, my God. Stronger than usual, but delicious. You must have wanted it that way. He does everything right. <laughs> I, of course he does. That is what he is uh, well created and uncreated and recreated for, aren't you? You uh, automaton of fun, aren't you? <laughs> what? Eddie, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do not know the nature of your tent. This is an uh, it's, it's arcane fine. servant. It's fine. I'm, I'm glad you're here. We really, I mean, you'll be able to reunite the boy with his mother, is that right? You'll be able to teleport him no, with the he brother. To go? Uh, with the brother. Back to the if school. You find the mother, I suppose we could do that as well. Uh, is this a, uh, That's good to know. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, another student, especially one with such magical blood, is never a bad thing. The other one seems to be uh, really taking a shine to that, uh, that fellow. Look, yeah. oh, yes. promise me you're going to leave this kid alone for a little while. He doesn't need a bunch of bullshit uh, it, thrown it, at him it, right of now. Course, of course, of course. Our, our case, though, uh, he was the one who was uh, the one who started the other boy. He was quite bored during our travelers. Oh, no, he can't fly. No, I can't turn into a dragon. No, you have to keep a low profile. You know, he was not... The largest fan of the long ray round, which uh, yeah, oh, well, now that I he know likes him. talkers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Obviously, uh, I'm one myself. Um, Are they all in the me... room with me? Yeah, uh, they're me all right room. outside the door. The door is open, so right. you can hear them. Guys, get just shoot. All right, all right, I'm going out. Hey, right, hey, uh, butler, take care of anything they need. I'll be back. Of course. I'm gonna I'm gonna go talk to the ants. To the foyer. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Go back. Uh, Zephyr, I, yes. I know, I know that you're in a tender situation here, but um, there's still the ants to take to talk to. I think you're the only one who talks to trees. Zephyr, I'll... Uh, I can't be the only tree. Ze Zephyr, I'll, I'll look <laughs> after him. I've, I've got the, cl I've, I've got the cleric right here. I, I can. Actually, wouldn't it be better for me to look after him since I can speak the language? I have literally done nothing. I can at least watch a sleeping kid. It's already right. the the butler speaks draconic, right? I I speak draconic to the butler. You speak dragon, right? I speak all languages, sir. So. See, there I'm... you go. It's fine. He can he can, he can translate. Blood bro. Blood bro. Blood bro's good to go. Let's go play some cards and watch the kid. 
Okay, I mean, I've got the cleric right here, so I mean, I mean, do do Billy, some heals, you bro. You see this the, this guy who has been brought here by uh, um, <laughs> under duress. He's, he's he's ridden all the way here, <laughs> like he was super, uh, you know, into this, and he's like. Uh, so my name is Cole, and I was told there was a child in need of okay. healing. We're very sorry. That's, Look, that's, that's uh, cool, we, Cole. We, we he, have cured the child. I, if you want to, oops, sorry. I guess he's talking to. But the last last I saw this kid, he had a fucking black tree growing out of his mouth. Uh, okay. So the tree is gone. Yes. Yeah. But the kid is like exhausted and dehydrated, malnourished, and completely hmm. fucked. So honestly, anything, having uh, you here is still a good thing. Uh, Let's go make him not completely fucked. Sure, yes. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, and, and I just... kind of attempt to say something, and then I just kind of don't move. I didn't say you had to move. I'm very protectively, like, I just kind of put gonna, my I arms mean... a bit further around. Viserat, Viserat, hold on. No, no, I'm just, can anyone cast a spell that makes me understand trees? Because I would absolutely do it. I just, I, 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 I don't, I don't think I can. Um, I can talk with can animals. Can I write? Can I write in? <laughs> write in. Um, hey, Butler, can I have a window over here? A window, yes, sir. And he snaps his hands, and then whoosh, a window appears All in right. the tent. Give me a second. I run. I run out to the end, and I just start like gesturing wildly to point him in the direction <laughs> of the window, and I just mime try to drag him over to the window so that. He... Um. Actually, speak with plants. Imbues the plant with the ability to communicate so he would be technically speaking common at this point oh shit. Oh. he All has right, about two minutes left you. since you guys have been uh, talking and uh, so as you as you run up you're trying to just think like what are you trying to say it gives them the ability oh. to communicate with me yeah. and follow simple oh is it commands. just you okay yeah never mind all right so he'll no, I, uh, I just you just you see the, the the big head and then he kind of like nods and and makes his way slowly to the tent and then uh, he's standing at the the edge of the tent kind of looking in are you satisfied with the rest what's that i said are you satisfied with the resolution we found the Fuck. corruption is gone you have the gratitude of the forest i hope you and yours can you broke up there. What was that? Woods. I hope you and the other Ents can make peace with the people of this forest, and I will encourage them to These remember and respect you. These are good people. They never take more than their need. We understand the cycle of need and satisfaction and of life. As well, long as they do not his... break from their traditions, we will not will... like them. Thank you for his life. You've saved a child's life. I think Forever he has grateful. you to thank for more than I. You have my gratitude and the gratitude of all who dwell within. And uh, as he starts to walk away, you see the shape, uh, the shape, the shifters kind of looking at each other. They kind of look back to the tent through the window. They they nod, and then they both they all start to like run away. As you see Wendell kind of reaching out. Uh, wait, aren't you? Wait, no, map, please, map. Wendell. I just want to know that they're okay. Trust me, they're fine. They were what doing better say? than you guys were. Did you? Did he specifically mention how I helped? <laughs> what? the tree say anything about me specifically <laughs> oh yeah yeah he did he said all did such a wonderful job and... ah damn so it was like a general like all right that's that's cool that's fine well he said the mage so <laughs> all right i'll take it do i have to do i have to roll for that line yeah do you I gotta you gotta make a this? deception check there Ooh, yes. what do i roll against it your um, insight insight check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do it do it do it oh. do it oh. 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 
Worst lie. 10 out of 10. Oh, no, everybody but my oh, sir knows I'm lying. Um, Wait, so I, I think... say, Gail, the, 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 the savior of the forest, the Ents talk about me, they know my name. That's what I'm going you know, with. I'm hold, adding hold it to the list of titles. Did I hear okay. this conversation? Uh, yes, go ahead and make an insight check. Well, uh, no, both... my passive is 16. Yeah, but this is, uh, <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not actively paying attention. Okay. To you, it's background noise. Insight? Insight. I'm on, I'm on DVD I mean, Beyond just... trying to click fucking Insight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited for this. It was fucking amazing. Please don't fuck me. Come on, get it too. <laughs> um, you hear this. <laughs> Go escape, Uza. So, as you're bragging about your uh, many but deeds. While you, Sarah, hear that, while you hear that. She's full of what shit. Else? That the ants nope, don't. Nope, well, nope. Well, Hold on. Well, Uza look, trying look to say that. Bird, you don't just slapped him on the shoulder. He goes, way to do it, buddy. Fucking great job! <laughs> I know, this guy act like he speaks tree all of a sudden. You I brought, trees, do you know bird, how many healers I, I brought? I brought, I brought like 12. I brought like you 12 healers. You know how many healers. of them actually healed the boy? Now, like, you don't Seven. need to be a dick. <laughs> I run so over and I hug him. Like, <laughs> all of them. I said, oh, that's, I, I'm You're being this. in a bear hug coming uh, from the dragon. I'm not this hugging that hard. Ooh. I know he's a small bird. Uh, just, I'm trying to crush the lad. Uh, no, just, just firm, not like crushing. Okay, is it, uh, is, should we? Yes. Okay. Good job, Vicer. <laughs> Thank you. She is You there. did a fine job as well. Thank you. My wings are so tired. I'm going to... I just um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna, Good job, team. I'm going to sit and, then, and wait uh, for that child. I look like over to Wendell. Go, team, go. Conversation with him. It hurts. And I'm like, Wendell, <laughs> they're fine. They're safe. They're at ease. They are. You have hmm. no need to fear them. I, I wasn't one that feared them, actually, uh, but that information will go well with my argument. Um, yeah, well, you that along to the villagers. They mean no harm. They have. They don't see it. You know, I always suspected as much. <laughs> we'll pass that along with you if you want. I love you. And um, right now we're going to take a five-minute break because I have to be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, P! Right? Right? All right, welcome to the D and D edition of the Chill Zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Roll for relaxation. Chill Zone is where to relax oh. to the max and chill. Oh. And Ty's not allowed. That's... That chill is Zone. Chill Zone part. is active whenever Ty is not. So pull up a groove and get fabulous. <laughs> um, yeah, good job, everyone. We fucking saved a doomed child i was like oh he's fucking dead you know actually you know what while, while, while ty is out i have a question for you guys i have a, well, I, have a I have a riddle for you guys what oh no how did not uh how did uh how did hitler tie his shoes it's a hitler joke um he didn't he from... in, in in nazis <laughs> god uh, yeah yeah, that oh, just you happened. You got a dad, punny. Is, all right, wait. Is she pregnant? No. <laughs> no, no, she's not. Because you but got very dad punny. All, was... all of my dad, all of my jokes are dad jokes. <laughs> That's true. When you up your Ray game, I'm just going to look at you. Is Dana pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've, I've, I've been wanting to tell that joke for a while, and something told me I probably shouldn't tell it at work. No, you should tell it on stream on the internet. <laughs> Fuck. It's, not, it's not my stream. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> also, also, this is the same internet that has four. I'm this is the same internet that has the Sonic trailer. Okay, I'm yep. fine. Oh Jesus! Oh, I'm thinking of getting um some red furry seat covering for a dumb car. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just for giggles. God damn it! Just sounds like something you would do. Yeah. God damn it! Uh, TJ. Why not? My car's already like has body damage. Like it came with body damage. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking these seat cushions. That's weathering. <laughs> they look and full weathering on, like, is more. Fucking... Muppets. Impressive. <laughs> no, no, that thing was straight pit maneuvered. Bro. It was distressed. It was. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Realistic battle damage. Realistic battle damage, exactly. All right, and so um, the the child is is unconscious for the rest of the day. Oh, we're gonna just dive right back in. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, is cleric is boy my, doing anything? Is my crow? Your crow is, is recharged. Yes. Um, I'm gonna activate him and watch the kid and have him and tell him to um notify me as soon as the child is awake because i want i want to talk to him perfect and uh i have you... a feeling zephyr's just there yeah i'm sleeping as well kind of trying to recoup but i am 
basically pushing everyone out of the room. Perfect. And uh, you summon Maverick, and he shows up. Ah, yes, uh, sir. What can I do for you? I'm just um, this this kid. I I mean, and Zephyr, they're, they're they're pretty tired. If just let me know when the kid's awake. I wanna I wanna talk to them. Talk with him. Just 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 come get me when he wakes up. You got it. Um, you don't have any, have any uh food. For oh you? yes, food yes. Um, yes. Uh, I didn't know you ate. <laughs> Uh, I enjoy the action of it. It tastes good. Is this in, is this in common? <laughs> this is, yeah, I think it, no, it's an Aran. Oh, oh, yes, it would be Aran. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give him one of the slab candies because I don't know. You're either. giving him the what? The slab candies. Okay. He is. Don't give that to other people. What is wrong with you? I don't. Is it bad? It's very bad. Is it like taste gross? Or is well, no, it is magically tainted, you idiot. Ma- <laughs> did, easy, you, easy. did you not know? No! I don't Where know did what you said. That bird and looks sassy. I'm a giant frogman. <laughs> okay, yeah. new rule. Don't give giant frogman things to other people. I don't... What was the frogman doing? What? Since when were you so sassy? Well, since always, but I've always usually generally agreed and liked oh, you. Oh. Then you gave me poison candy. Frog candy. Gross candy. Fair enough. So don't... Give it to other people. Okay, no, yes. that's. You know what? I'm really. Are you? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> um, me being a magical statue coming to life, I'm fine. But uh, anybody who's not specifically that, probably gonna have a bad day. That's fair. And, and by um, that I mean real bad. Um, this is some powerful shit you got here. Really? Yes. Sh- should I give it to people I don't like? No, you shouldn't give it to anyone. Oh, Unless you want bad. them to, like, die-ish. So, so, really, people I really don't like. I mean, uh, poison people. Not a good thing to do. I have a dagger that does yet bird need food? <laughs> um, excuse he, like, looks me. looks over you as you say food. I'm having a conversation right. with my bird uh, statue. Food? But you're not going to let him give me food? Well, t- I just I just say food and I, see I'm what the I'm gonna bring out some does. of the uh, the bird the, looks over at you the dry ration that I have. Um, Wait, uh, no, uh, no, Butler, Butler um, can Butler, we get some seeds or something really nice for the bird? Of thing course. Here? Do you prefer? I give the bird thing like a or... like little thumbs up, like don't worry, I've got your back. And then the butler holds out a tray, and this perch grows out of the tray, and then cookies with seeds in them. Uh, suddenly appear and uh, the crow flies over kind of nods appreciatively and the uh, the butler goes to set down the tray and this um the stand kind of grows out from the this and it's like this golden ornate stand uh, as he places the uh, the tray uh, it just kind of connects to the tray and holds it in there and now there's like a perch form with these cookies and he's ice man just, no you said you said maverick i ever written down bitch because I'm pretty sure I told him as You did. <laughs> no. Uh, my Yeah, my activation is Iceman. Yeah. Oh, I might have called him Maverick. Yeah, you called him Maverick, but my you bad. use Iceman to summon him. My bad. <laughs> no, no worries. confusing at all. Old notes. <laughs> old notes. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, and then, uh, so he's sitting and watching over. Okay. Uh, does anybody else want to do anything? It is getting late in the day at this I'm point. Go find Phelan. Uh, I would have I left to go grab my fucking fortress. Okay, so you're you're off onto an expedition to grab the fortress. Perfect. Um, roll a d20 for me. One-eyed expedition! Just a d20? Just a straight d20. <laughs> okay. It's... It takes you all day. Uh, and so by the time you get back, it's the, the sun has set, but you found the and um, put the fortress back into its normal collapsed state. Um, you said you hey wanted... guys, I got a cube! <laughs> Perfect. And uh, while you're away, um, does anybody else want to do something while he's searching for that? My fucking eye hurts. <laughs> I'm just looking for Phelan if anyone else wants to do their thing. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to do anything else? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we got the, the tree. The ants are happy. The ants are all gone. Mm-hmm. The, the ants, uh, As are the shapeshifters. The ants and the shapeshifters have gone back into the forest. Um, the, uh, the clerics at this point have all kind of gone back to where they originally were. And wasn't there some sort of conflict here? That it was just was it just the shifters and the ants who were, were arguing? Yeah, it like, was the we, the we, shifters we... and the ants were were the ones trying to find this source of corruption. Where the city had hired the gilded cleaver to help with the ants and with the 
Um, well, and we and murked, like, the leader of the Gilded Cleaver, right? Yes. Yeah, you murked the, the leader who was this corrupted, uh, weird, strange demon summoner. That dick dude. bag I killed! Yeah, yeah have he, we, have we made peace with that or figured out what the... Uh, you know hey, you should go find out killed that second-in-command guy that I threw around like an <laughs> asshole. Uh, who, who crawled out of the tent crying yeah, bitch. I was gonna say, he ran away crying. Yeah, he? Robert ran away crying. Ran away crying? Yeah, after he, he saw the tree. the tree. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But we were gonna put him in, like, kind of command? So you might wanna go find him. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So, um... My fucking eye hurts. <laughs> your fucking eye really hurts. Um, actually, at this point... I got a ring of fire resistance. Is that helping? <laughs> <laughs> uh, throughout the night, you took another three psychic damage from your eye hurting so fucking bad. God damn it, Nappa! <laughs> I got it. All right, and it's then um, there. <laughs> the hell? That's the that's the sound. Someone just teleported here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's just Mike getting drunk. It's fine. You know, business as usual. It is a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we'll go with uh, was that you said you were looking for Phelan? Phelan, yeah. All right, and then uh, so um, it's she's uh, you know, one of the people who's kind of like gathered around the the tent at this point. As you come out, you see her, um, you know, her her green eyes, and uh, they they connect with hers, and she gives you this this kind of like like oh, recognizing right. like hopeful smiles. Like, ah. The chick that's gonna <laughs> bang the bird child. <laughs> Don't judge. You like Shape of the Water? What if the Shape of Water wasn't a, just fucking I an animal? I hate that movie. <laughs> the Shape of Air Currents? All throughout the shape night, there's going to be... The Shape scraw, of Feathers? Scraw, 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 scraw. <laughs> she must be deep inside <laughs> that bird. Does this count as RP shaming? <laughs> yes, yes it does. All right, so anyway, what would you like to say to Phelan? Um, I, well, I, I, okay, so... Um, okay, so... Yes? Um, so there was this tree. It was a bad tree. Uh-huh. It was a little tree. Okay. It came in out of a, coming out of a, a child's mouth and it was black. What? And it was, yeah. Um, so there was like, it, it was like, oh, and, and like there's, and, and then it made you like, oh, uh, uh, and so that's why I told you all to like, like back up. And then, and, and okay. then everybody was like, oh, uh, and they're like doing the healing thing. And then like, I, that's why I called for the clerics and. And then, like, so he's in the tent now. He's okay. The tree's like, uh, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. The oh. tree was there, and then I left and to go get the dude from from the the. I have this rock from his chimney. What are you? Um, like, I pulled it out, and uh. it, like I could see the other side, and I put it back, and I probably should have like, uh, like did a thing to like. Right, seal she's it. gonna make an intelligence check to see if she can figure out what the fuck you're talking about. That is very fair. Mm, oh, hold on. Let's do a public one. Okay. <laughs> We're connected, man. Jesus Christ! Jesus. Okay. Wavelengths. And then she starts. She starts nodding. So like, oh, so you you found. So the the this tree was that why the ends were mad? Yeah, yeah. Huh. So I th- I mean I think like the one of them showed up and he was in the tent and uh-huh. like he was like and then he was like oh and then like like and like oh, he so he was he he actually helps with the child. Yeah, yeah, and he's in the That's tent right 20, now, right? and um. He's sleeping. Oh. He's a kid again. That's fantastic. So. Oh, and the leader of this golden cleaver thing was a dick and a demon summoner dude, and he, like, brought this thing. I'm sorry. You said he was the leader of the. So. Yeah, my buddy killed him. Say... You killed Devzerin? No, the, my friend did. Oh. Sorry. He was. It's okay. He was a dick. He was a dick. And then, like, demon summoning, like, he dudes, like, turned demons. into goo. Oh, that's. Not the disgusting. It was. I was And how are you? Um, not great. <laughs> I, you know, I saw the thing with my brother and with your brother. Uh, yeah, I Wait, don't. What what happened to your brother? I'll maybe tomorrow. What? Tomorrow? I, was, I don't know. Take a breath. Calm down. <sighs> Tell me what happened with your brother. I saw my brother die, and like that tree made me see it again. 
and I couldn't, I just like the first time I couldn't, I couldn't do anything that time and I couldn't do anything this time. And I just, I just ran around trying to find people who could do things. And, and I like, I couldn't do anything and like, I can't do anything now. And like there was, there was, I just flew until I could try to find someone that could find, who's do that? something. Who's that? It's okay. Are you okay? I just want to. I can't help anyone. That seems like you helped quite a lot today. I found people that could help. That's not helping. Without you, there's no one to come to help. <sighs> you didn't think of it that way, did you? I don't. I mean, if they don't know to help, then they can't come to help. So without you, there's no saving. The child. You said you, you flew around, you brought many people, and just by the amount of people who left here, I can only imagine how quickly and how deftly you were flying around. My wings are really tired. <laughs> I don't, Bravely I don't know, everyone, everyone was casting spells and like healing it, and the tree was, the tree was doing it, and Zephyr was doing it, and Viser was doing it, and Rift One was doing it, and, and Bloodscale was doing it. I... I just sat there and watched. That's what I always do. I just watch. From the sound of it, you weren't you weren't sitting for long. It sounds like you were rushing quite about around quite a bit. Um, you do not give yourself enough credit, Uza. Maybe I. Maybe I don't know. I just. And with that, she kind of like she reaches out and she touches the the. She just kind of like runs her hand off the the top of your head and brings it down under your beak. And she's like, "There's always something else we could have done, but that doesn't mean what we did wasn't worthy." At least I did something this time. <laughs> always a good. So, do you want to tell me about your brother? Who was he? Yeah, his, his name was. Um, Scrawl. He, he was, he, he was a lot better at talking than than I've been. Um, he, even, even when when we when we were wingless, you know, I just. And then you know he 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 would talk to people and like and they, like I I like copy what they were saying and like his, they would pay attention to him, and I would I would be able to pickpocket or, or steal enough enough food for us to to live you guys sound like a good team yeah we were <laughs> well at least he has you to remember him yeah i should um what i, well, I, I should work on that work on what you remembering him you sound like you remember him quite well yeah i, I pull out the Somewhat Here we completed. go. I pull out this the partially completed arrow. Um, oh. What's this? It's his arrow of memory. I, I, I can't. I can't what? I can't finish it. I don't. Do you think finishing it and releasing it will release him from you? He um. I, I don't know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to put on there, you know, I just... And as you're tripping over your words, she just hugs you and pulls you in. We all lose. I know, that's one of the tragedies of elves. You have to learn with, to deal with loss, because anyone you meet who's not an elf will eventually be gone. And you keep going. And you have to keep going. Nobody who's gone would want you to stop and just become a, a memory of them. Let alone your brother, who sounds like he would want your teamwork to go on, even if you had to do it all yourself. But I don't think you have to. I look at her with more understanding than I think that she intended I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go work on this then <laughs> very well um, once you're done uh, come see me if you have time 
okay she kind of like nods to you. her eyes uh that that green she kind of gives you that uh they, they, they kind of sparkle just a little bit as she kind of nods and gives you like a just this uh not knowing look and she kind of uh turns away and heads back to her tent i'm gonna go squat outside the uh the tent that vice put up and um start working on scrawl's arrow perfect um and then uh vice you said you wanted to go talk to robert Perfect. So, uh, you find Robert in uh, one of the larger tents below. Um, you see his uh, his face is still kind of smeared with uh, the blackness uh, where uh, that you hadn't had a chance to press the digitate off. Um, there is a, a big barrel of ale that is just like this kind of pony t- pony keg, but like twice the size of a regular pony keg, and he kind of ha- he's just sitting right next to it his head leaning against it as he's pouring yet another you what you assume is yet another cup of ale as he looks up uh, uh, i didn't know pony cakes came in clydesdale <laughs> they do when you get paid well enough oh whoops sorry that's the wrong accent for robert robert is french accent <coughs> that so happens to the best of us <laughs> nice catch uh, Dell is um, very little of comfort right now well, i can at least take care of your face i uh press the digitate um it clean and he kind of like shakes his head oh i did not know there was uh something wrong also um, what sorry. do you mean it's not a time to celebrate we just saved someone's life today we've traded one life for another Dav's which Aaron, life did we my huh. mentor my friend has been turned to being a person who summons demons who has apparently even uh, and now uh, the gilded cleaver is without its uh, second in command where well, i'm now left the person in charge and i have no idea exactly what to do next well, and he takes a upside. big swig of, of beer out of his, his little his, it's a it's a wooden stein uh and it so it's it's kind of like a it's big like got banding like a barrel um you see like the the top ring has started to rust it's you didn't it's an older um, cup, but you see him <laughs> just make a giant swig out of it. <sighs> Alrighty, well, I don't know if it'll make you feel better, but um, number one, we didn't trade any lives. We just earned one back that was completely taken. Uh, also, the life of an innocent child versus the life of someone who uh, summons demons. I'm not sure if that's a trade. That is a trade I'd be willing to make, but not one we've necessarily done. Well, uh... um, also, if he was your mentor and all of the best parts of what he was was part of is what he's passed on to you right so hmm. you take that you can take like you don't have to remember him as this demon summoning person if you don't want and you don't have to like you can just move on with the gilded cleaver it's clearly like was his vision or something like he was in charge of it like if you want well, to honor the, the memory of the man that you knew uh-huh. oh if you wanted to if you want to honor the man the memory of the man that you knew you've plenty of opportunity so come on. i mean what are you but uh there's always always when somebody joins the same mercenary band absolutely i mean that's that's not like you know i mean people are 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 weird all the all over the place like they've done you people do what they can uh to become famous (laughs) (laughs) i joined the man also we've done a lot of good since i've 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 done a lot of good you know i i had a teacher who was like hey go do good go do these things and we're working on it you know how is this far, a it's working out? little different? We are oh. here for the money. And the money is, uh, provides things like our Clydesdale pony gig, as you say. <laughs> I'm sorry, but have you not seen that I have a, the world's nicest tent over there? We get paid, son. <laughs> we don't do it too much for free. You don't have to uh, choose between doing good and doing well. You can do both. Maybe you have a point there. Maybe uh, we should invest in this doing good and doing well. I know I've done I'm enough not good, uh, but I would like to m- very much to do something other. There you go. Think like of that as you stare. <laughs> God, think of today as the day that you are freed from having to do the things you don't want, and mm. the day that you became like that the gilded cleaver became a symbol of hope or something. You know that the day that you became really proud of what this is and what you can make it. I had not thought of these things. I will have to run it by our first in command. But it is definitely uh, something I should do. 
Lastly, I just wanted to talk to you, make sure that everything's good to go. Uh, we're th we're all good, right? You, there's no need. For no one's gonna fight anyone in anymore. No, 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 like no. we'll we'll be able to back I up have, and go. Uh, I have told all of the men that. Uh, well, to them, I've told them that there was an died a betrayer and a coward, and uh, and they, we might even have been the reason why we're here in the first place. He is creating jobs. I think. I think he planted this to get a seat in the IOD. I think he is. <laughs> he has kept us dishonest, but in money, but in the worst ways. So I will. Uh, I've let them know that he is not one to be missed, even though I am trying very hard not to miss him myself. Um, do you have um? Do you keep a raven, or is there any way to get into contact with you if I needed to say hire you for? Or um, maybe I knew somebody who needed work or had work for you. Well, I suppose that is something we could do. Uh, he reaches into uh, this, this pouch on his side, and as he pulls out, there's a, a little pen that looks exactly like the pen of the golden cleaver that he has onto him. Like, uh, if you uh, ever need uh, or know somebody who needs to uh, contact us, uh, you can have them, uh, have them wear this, and then... Uh, once they are tuned to the uh, button, they can uh, communicate directly with me now that I am in charge. And uh, I will right. hear them, and uh, it is, uh, it will, uh, I will be able to reply. All right, that's great. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get you some more work. Keep you doing good and well. Um, right. He starts pouring another beer, and this time he oh. grabs another mug and he starts pouring one, another one. And he hands you the the mug. All right, well. In that case, we shall drink to the new gilded cleaver. One that will oh. cleave through only the evil in the world. Sounds great. Uh, slash at the darkness, sir. Whatever you're going to do. <laughs> uh, that is a uh, terrible one, but uh, more than anything I could come up with so far. Look, I'm not, uh, despite appearances, I'm actually not a bard. <laughs> oh, very uh, well then. Cheers and drink. <laughs> And then you guys drink back and you head back to your tent. Um, uh, can I get you to roll um, a um, calligraphers check to see how you're doing on that arrow? Absolutely. Damn calligrapher turtles. I am taking my time. Does that give me advantage? Uh, no, this is just kind of a straight check because okay. I assumed you were taking your time, so I adjusted the DC accordingly. Fair enough. That didn't come through. Oh, it didn't? No. Really oh, weird. it was a 16. 16. Okay. Ah, perfect. And then, um, oh, there it goes. Oh, there it yeah. is. <laughs> All right, perfect. So um, anybody else want to do anything before bed? No. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, so um, Zephyr, as you were the first one to kind of uh, settle in for the night, um, you kind of are keeping watch over and, and sleeping with um, this unconscious child and you hear and as you you kind of slowly fade to sleep um, all of a sudden you before you you see Vola champion of back true once more as we fight together you have become more powerful we have become more powerful my connection to you is growing give me your weapons and you look down and you hold two hand axes in one hand and a great sword in the other. And your skin is green. And you realize you're in your orc form. What would you like to do? Why do you want my weapons? To bless them with Bag True's might. I would appreciate any help. Very well. well. And, uh, as you hand over the, the weapons, she takes them, and you see her eyes flare with this pale white power, and you hear the sounds of bones breaking. The axes grow in shape in her hands. The edges of the hand axes become a serrated edge, and the greatsword flattens out, and you see smooth teeth grow from the blade's edge, and tusks and teeth grow out the sides of it. Um... So um, since you've been using her form, you have, uh, she actually now, you hold, your uh, attacks uh, count as Vicious Hand Axes and Vicious Greatsword when you transform into your Orc form. Okay. Perfect. 
Um, next to find sleep, I believe, was blood scale when he came. No, blood scale, you were actually out in the forest, so. Um, I guess it would be. Doop, doop, doop. My, uh, hurts. Uh, okay, so what did uh, they act out really quick? Vicious. What, uh, vicious. I'll, I'll, I'll add him to her to the play the, the character sheet for you. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then we'll say uh, Uza, as you're you're carving out at the um, uh, the arrow, uh, you slowly, unintentionally start to nod off. And as you sleep, the heaviness pulls you down and down. And as you nod off, a sudden wind pulls you up and you're beneath your wings. You're pulled into the sky. Your speed increases faster and faster as you are suddenly a strange wind pulls you left, right. It seems to be pulling you, directing you through the sky and the clouds go darker as lightning rips through the sky. One, two, a dozen strikes hurtle as you are, are flying all around you as you hurtle on world. The, star, the sounds start to overlap and become deafening. It's a suddenly, bit loud. Yeah, I know. It is way louder than I thought. Uh, suddenly, you become overwhelmed with the sounds of thunder and lightning as they crack through the weather and air. You see below you, suddenly, you recognize the landscape as you see your brother flying towards you, yelling something as the lightning seems to come from all sides, reaching towards him. And then everything stops. The howling of wind and thunder are silent, frozen against the sky as you stare at the f as your brother, also frozen. And you see his left arm starts to shake ever so slightly. Then his other arm, and eventually his whole body seems to vibrate and shake with an inhuman speed as it reaches its height. Suddenly he breaks through out of it. <sighs> Squire, my brother, you must guard your mind. There was a price for our freedom. Be wary. And then you wake up. Oh. Blood scale. As you find yourself asleep. Doop, 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 my eye hurts. Doop, In the doop, doop, dark. My eye hurts. Uh, did you go into the, the uh, Viceroy's tent or your own tent? Own tent. Own tent, okay. I make it too cold for okay, everybody good. else. In the dark of your tent, you finally find relief as your right eye, which has been subjected to light all day and pulses and throbs from the attacks on it. The temperature finally drops to what you're comfortable with as your magical blood pulls the heat and the air from the air and it's finally comfortable enough for you to sleep. First, just darkness. Then you see a flash of silver and the sound of shattering ice. You see an elder silver dragon in the sky. At first, it seems to be fighting with nothing at all, but eventually you see it is in combat with Shenoth. The dragons oh, seem great. to tear the sky in two with their battle. You watch in awe as ice and missiles and shadow fire intertwine the earth with shattering roars. And that audio file is no longer there. I'm so sorry. Um, Woo! <laughs> uh, even you bolt upright in your tent, icicles hanging from the ceiling, and your Dragon movement noises. disturbs one of them, and it falls and shatters. And as the icicle shatters, you see a purple flame break from inside of it. That's not good. Last to find sleep. Viser. Dragon noises. <laughs> Um, you, uh, you, as you find sleep, uh, you falling in a, to sleep in the luscious bed of silks and pillows, so luscious. uh, you find yourself comfortable and then your eyes open and you're standing in a room beneath you is a stained glass floor. The stained glass is in the shape of a rose whose petals shift and change color beneath you to the left of you. The Rose Knight stands, and to the right of you, the Blood Rose Knight, his corrupted form. A soft and slightly familiar voice is sounds in your head. He is still split. Help him if you can. I can hold him here only so long. I'm here? Like in my dreams? I'm holding him on this plane, and I've brought you here to help. Right. Um, can I help him right now, or I pull uh, the heart out of my perfect rope? And uh, can you see the new map? Oh, uh, sorry, I'm just changing my 
chat. Yeah, I can see it. Perfect. All right, and you see uh, both of them are radiating this energy. One gold, one um, like a dark, uh, almost anti-light. Um, and you pull the heart out, and as you, you reach for the heart, uh, it's gone. But when you reach for it, as you go to pull where it should be, uh, you pull a, a rope. And the rope seems to be tied to both forms. Okay. And it's a, this a vine that reaches out and has uh, rose thorns and leaves, but no flowers. Okay. Uh, what happens when I keep pulling it? So as you pull it, both of the forms suddenly jerk backwards as you, you uh, um, pull on it. And they both turn to look at you. Do either of you understand me? I understand you. I also understand you. You understand who you are? I'm the Rose Knight. I am the true Rose Knight. The Blood Rose Knight. Okay. Well, aren't you both the same guy, though? <laughs> I do not care what I became. He is not any aspect of me. He is all that I stand against. No beauty, no brutality. Don't see him... You don't see him as having anything valuable that you could learn from. Valuable? What value would become in, in becoming this? And at the blows, Blood Rose Knight. Beauty is a weapon. There's strength in beauty and in darkness. He is blind to the world more than I. I will not go back to who I was. This is who I am. What kind of life do you have now? Dark Knight. I, until you had ended me, I had my realm. And was that nicer than having friends or a family? Friends are only things your enemies will use against you. That not is true. I agree with him. That is not true. Friends can provide you strength when you have none. The right friends can. <laughs> You should listen oh. to him, you know. Oh, look at that. We have some agreements here. Now, you see, I, I, you're both the same person. You're just different versions of hurt, right? I mean, on the left here, you've clearly been hurt by people and been driven into this form. You need to pay attention to everything that's happened to this guy because he's you. This could, this isn't like Plus. it could happen to you. This is what happened to you. You need to learn from this. You need to accept that this is part of who you are and who you can be. And if you don't accept that, you're screwed. Both of you are. Forever. Now, I've been charged with helping you out. I'm the hero of this tale, and I always get the job done. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you... If I, for your own good and for the sake of, of, of us all, try and reconcile this. Like, realize who you are. Realize that you can't move forward without one another. You, trapped in a crypt forever, just to, to senselessly fight whoever wanders in, or if your realm. And you, un in a, unable to see that, like, there are many flaws in your approach to life, that you are susceptible to, to great hurt that will cause great struggle. Now, I need you to... Uh, you'll be stronger together than you ever have been apart, and you might actually be able to keep living Neither of you lives right now. You're both trapped in, in some form of purgatory. You have all the tools you need in one another. I believe, anyway. They, they both step towards each other. Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check with super advantage. <laughs> super all right. Advantage. That's three rolls, right? Yeah, that is. <laughs> persuasion. One. Two. Come on. Fuck. Five. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. all went up. <laughs> It's okay. You actually, uh, you, it was a low DC because you made a very good argument. Um, cool. And so with that, they both step forward and, and uh, this is the Blood Rose Knight. His eyes flare again with that. Uh, it's really weird. It's a, it's a, they flare with a, a dark energy that goes upwards, but there's these petals that still come off the sides of him and the thorns on his nice. armor. Uh, they also um, start exuding the same energy. Well, the Rose Knight, he steps forward and he, uh, he still has a rose in his hand and he, he takes one smell at it and he's like, I suppose there are no roses without thorns. There are no beauties without... <laughs> right? 
Uh, there are no, there are, there's no beauty with that Every contrast. <laughs> so if I God. had that audio, I would have been playing it right now. No, um, please don't. I would not. Please do. And so, um, with that, he actually reaches out and, and goes to hand the rose to the the blood rose knight. The blood rose knight goes to reach for it, and he pulls his hand back, and he looks at you. I see why he needs to become me, and I need to oh. accept him. But what have you learned from us? What have was I our learned purpose? from you? I've learned that like being bloody naive doesn't help anyone out too much, and being too much of an idealist can absolutely destroy you as you become a lunatic. Um, and as you say lunatic, yeah. his head bows slightly, and he's. I'm sorry, I don't mean it to be like negative, but like you, you were hunting a crypt, and you were actually like a normal functioning human being at one point. Like, I just. You're a, you're a cautionary tale, don't you see? And, like, I'll help spread that tale. People listen to me when I talk in bars, at least. So, you know. Make sure you I, do. For, and then he reaches me. out, and he, oh. as he grabs the robes, the entire, uh, your entire sight goes white. I'm blind! No, I'm and you kidding. wake up, and suddenly you know the spell in Thrall. Cool! Oh, shit. <laughs> what does you Enthrall have, do? Enthrall is your blessing from... Um, oh my god, I forgot her god name. Uh, this is your blessing from Suni. Um, as you've done her work, she's rewarding you with Enthrall. So Enthrall, um, oh, let me spell it correctly. So Enthrall, uh, with this, you can weave a distracting string of words causing creatures of your choice um, that you can see within range to make a wisdom saving throw. Any creatures... Can't be charm. Uh, any creature that can't be charmed succeeds the saving throw automatically. And if you or your companions are fighting a creature, it has disadvantage on the save, or it has advantage on the save. On a failed save, the target has disadvantage on perception checks and made to perceive any other creature than you until the spell ends. And um, this, if the spell ends, if you are incapa incapacitated or can no longer speak, uh, this is a bard spell. So I don't, I don't exactly understand. What do you use this spell for? Uh, basically, um, you can make that so they um, they Distract focus only them. on you rather than anything else. <laughs> yeah, we're good. All That's right. <laughs> oh man, the squishy said, "Hey, look at me," and was no more. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, cool. you also um, it's as more for like communication. That's and then yeah. uh, as you as the light is coming oh, for I'll you, hear out. take my sword. What? And, and then you wake up. Okay, I woke up. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I did. Wait, did I take his sword? Um, you know, uh, instinctively that his sword is the sun blade that's in the bag of holding. Oh, he gave me what I already had. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Such a dick. Uh, I, I, I forgot that we had it honestly so oh that's cool. okay right. <laughs> yeah you guys already had his sword you guys have all of his stuff you guys... <laughs> all right and then uh, it's about we're effective looters yes and uh, it's getting to be about uh 9 16 so we're we'll probably be wrapping up here soon um i don't have quite enough time to run your scenario tonight damn uh but hold on to it i'm really excited to see where it goes i don't mind staying a little bit later if it's something that they don't get to hear but Okay. If if we if you want to hold it to the next game, I'm cool with that too. Okay. Um, how does everybody feel about um, going with um, Uza going to tell uh, Phelan about his dream? That's fine. Fine. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and I can say so. Uh, Uza, as you snap awake, the the sound of rolling thunder in your brother's voice, which you haven't heard since you lost him, still ringing in your head. You make your way to Phelan. Oh, I was, I was expecting you before. Um, uh, in the morning, what's... Are you okay? Are you okay? I, I had a dream. I don't know. We all have dreams. I don't know what it means. I... There was... <sighs> Take a breath. <sighs> Tell it right this time. I dreamt that I was flying. And I've had... I've had this... I've had this dream before. And an entity came to me, but he, he wasn't... He wasn't there this time. Okay. And another arrow crocra. He he wasn't there, and I saw my brother. Hmm. You saw your brother. What did? 
What happened? He... He was flying below me just like that night. He... Okay. He, he tried to catch an updraft to catch up to me. I was... I was always faster than him. <laughs> um, the thunder and, and the lightning, it struck so much more that night and more than more than any other storm I I don't he should have kept his armor I'm sorry what he, he should the, the it the armor he should have kept it but no he, the dream he he was flying below me and everything froze everything was still the thunder was gone the rain was gone and he was still, and I was still. Everything stopped, stopped moving. And he shook. He shook. He sh it was it was like he was held by some kind of spell. I don't know. I, he shook his arm, and then his, and then his other arm, and then his whole body, and then he broke free. And the last thing I remember from it was, he said that our freedom had a price. freedom had a price what if what if our wings have brought something worse upon this world what else did he um, say that's it that's all I remember he just I don't I don't understand well, these wings were everything when I received them I don't know why well you don't know that they are necessarily anything bad it's just it could be just a dream just a dream I mean, we all have dreams, sometimes with what you've been through today and what you saw. Are you sure it has, isn't anything more than just a bad dream? The tree made me see him again. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just the tree. But it sounds like he was talking after. He would, he would have had no way of knowing uh, anything more than when he left you, would he? Do you think that was him speaking to me? Like... I mean, do you think it was really him? I mean, it's either that or your own mind telling you to beware. Do you feel guilty for your wings? I didn't. I mean, but I do. Why do you feel? I mean, if you didn't before, then I wouldn't have to dream after seeing what you saw today. Maybe the tree was a warning. A warning for what? I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how I got the wings back. I just know that they, the Dawnforge, they gave them back. So it seems like you're in the right place. But what if they did something that they shouldn't have? I mean, you couldn't fly before. You can fly now. What could have they done that was that terrible? They seem like good people. If any of them seem like they would do uh, anything that would actively harm anyone. I mean, that tree, that you, from what you were telling me, was just evil. And they somehow pulled a child and saved him from it. Yes, I... They... I don't know. I don't... I... They... They... they They have ma I don't know. I don't understand the magic. They they play at it like it's their, like it's their toy. And maybe it is. Maybe it's time for you to learn more. I mean, have you ever asked them about magic? No. Have you ever learned anything of magic? I have a I have a crow. <laughs> I'd like to meet him one day. He's busy watching the child. And uh, as you realize that um, at this point that the crow probably became a statue waiting for the child to wake up. 12 hours already? Yeah, since the time that you set him up. Wow, and, uh, okay. you woke up. Because you, you slept for eight hours and you set him up well before going to bed. Okay, all right. Um, I, actually, I think, I think my crow's probably a statue again. I should probably go collect him. Um, <laughs> I just... I don't know. This this worries me. I've never seen my brother in a dream. Really? I see people I miss all the time in dreams. It sounded like 
It might be more important than I think it might have been. I think you need to think about it for yourself and maybe talk to somebody who knows a little more about dreams than I do. Yeah, I... I'm worried, Phelan. What if this was a warning? A warning for what, though? A warning without meaning is negativity. But what if he didn't get the chance to tell me the whole message? What if these wings turned out to be a bigger curse than what I had before? Well, you will dream again, won't you? I hope. Well, without the full answer, you can only take what he said. I should go get my crow. <laughs> well, bring him back. I'd love to meet him. Uh, well, give me two days. <laughs> and uh, go collect my crow and check on the kid. Perfect. Um, anybody else want to do anything instantly on waking? Does my eye still burn? No. In Can fact, I... your eye, as <sighs> you're looking around in the darkness of your tent, uh, you notice that when you close the, your hurt eye, the eye that was hurting, you can see pretty well through the goggles. When you open the eye and close the other one, it's dark. Uh-oh. Uh, can I what? grab the <laughs> sword from the bag of holding? Perfect. I have it. You gotta so, come to me. <laughs> All right, I'll, and, just, uh, I'll just do that later. Um, no, actually, we, it's, it's, it's easy. So, um, and as you're, you're experimenting with your eyes, uh, your tent flap kind of pulls open and you see Viser kind of peeking in and you notice with your goggles on, because you'd slept with them on because you were so exhausted, your left eye doesn't hurt when the bright light hits it. Hey, I and, thought I had the goggles now. Uh, he has a different I have, goggles. I have welder goggles. That he bought. Oh, yeah. you, have, gotcha. you have the night vision goggles. I have welder goggles. Yeah. The magic power made the sunlight hurt like a motherfucker. And, right, uh, the opposite effect. Yeah. Right, sir, <laughs> you notice his uh, his eye is silver, the one coming through. It's no longer that deep purple um, void eye that you saw before he got the goggles. Do you know that your eye is silver now? No, oh, shit's weird, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell. You turn into a giant, your eyes change color. Oh, yeah. Um, more on that later, I'm sure. Uh, could I see the bag of holding for a second? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, I put my hand in and think the Rose Knight sword. Perfect. And um, so you, you'll now see in your um, magical items, there is the Sunblade of the Rose Knight. Oh, that's so. sick. <laughs> uh, so Yeti. This it appears to be a long sword hilt with a decorated rose coming out of the bottom. While grasping the hilt, you can use a bonus action to make the blade of pure radiance. Uh, in this case, um, this one's adapted by me, so the rest of the blade will grow and uh, as like it grow in like an authority point and and extend out of the blade and then retract with a bonus action. Um, it is a magical long sword. It has the finesse property, so you can use your agility modifier as opposed to your strength modifier. You gain plus two bonus attacks to damages, uh, attack and damage rolls with this weapon. And if it's an undead, an extra 1d8 radiant damage. And um, this uh, particular blade is unique in the fact that you can cast Shield of Faith three times a day while you are attuned oh, to this yeah. blade. All right. All right. Perfect. Anybody else? Is, is this bound to, to Viser? Uh, yes, yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll put it in, in Viser stuff, and um, you'll have to attune to it, so you have to spend like an hour with it. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not attuned to it. to it from the night being like, take my sword, bro. You know what? Actually, yeah, you would be, um, because the, the sword was reaching out to you, so the instant you grasp it, you feel like this completeness with it, and um, uh, as you uh, grasp the blade, this kind of, um, you feel this power, this wave of energy come through it, and you feel your the images that you're keeping up of your hair always being perfect and your clothes being perfect, you feel it solidify. What? So your hair is now, like this now, you look like this now. That's weird. And I, oh, wow, that saves having to figure that out. <laughs> looks like what? He looks Wait, like, he look? so he's been projecting, he's been, um, he had his, his clothes to be enchanted to produce a minor image, so his hair was always perfect and his clothes were always clean, and he was always having this certain hairstyle. Once he attuned with this blade with the Goddess of Beauty. Also was making my eyes uh, a 
yeah different um one was red Bunch one was oh uh, yeah he, um yeah he had different color eyes like basically since uh you know he'd gotten reed fancied up um he'd been using his clothes had been projecting a an image and now that image is reality for him so he's always clean he's always clean his hair is always perfect i'm gonna throw mud at him later <laughs> Bounce right off. I'm like, do it again! Do it! Yeah! 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 Shit I rolled really high air. on the screen. Just knocked on your fucking ah. ass. Just bounces right off. Perfect. Nothing vulnerable to fucking gross damage. Like I said, I throw one really hard, roll high on the strength check, and just knock on your ass. Yeah. Um, I'd be clean. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Zephyr, well, what would you like to do when you wake up? Um,. I just check on the kid and I'm okay. And uh, as you wake up, you notice like... your skin is green. You are in your orc form, and the weapons are in your hands. Oh, I change back really quick. And as you change back, the weapons um, kind of disappear as as they kind of like go into your hands as you transform. Kind of calm myself down for the game, and then I uh, look at the kid and I just kind of... like wake him up perfect and you, you kind of gently uh, try to wake him up and he's still asleep and with that that's where we're going to go ahead and end tonight's session next time <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, what do you guys think uh kind of nice being back with your characters or i missed yep. it <laughs> <laughs> missed yes. being able to play one character instead of 12 <laughs> just having my voice <laughs> <laughs> my fucking <laughs> eye hurt. oh <laughs> uh, yeah um, I know this was kind of a lot of uh, of mystery and, and RP solving, but I think you guys did really well. I wanted to do kind of more RP heavy so that way you guys could get back into your characters. And you guys, I, I don't know what I was worried about. You guys nailed it like instantly right off. <laughs> I was worried. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm like, so I, like, I guess uh, you guys, you guys did amazing though. You guys just fell right back into it. I was really excited. I mean, it's easy. I just spaz out and try to find someone who can actually help. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. I just spaz out and try to kill everyone. Yeah, it's easy. I just spa spaz out, but Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> you scot out? Just is always a spaz, so I mean, nothing changed. Ah. And I have to be wearing extremely concentrated. <laughs> 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 All right. Bitching, guys. Thanks. That was a great session. I had a really good time. Kick um, his blade. Yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Have a, a beautiful day. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, D and D adventure. Bye. 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 Bye.